I can buy silver weapons now! Oh, that's so cool. Um, anyway, sorry. Hello, everybody. We're here with some more Path of Radiance. That's so cool. I can buy silver swords and silver lances now! They don't have a lot of uses, but that's gonna be really good. Can I forge them? Ooh. Let me see. Sword. Forge. I can forge silver weapons now, dude. I'm actually gonna forge, like, a maximum uh, strength silver sword. That's gonna be so... Oh, my gosh, dude. Wait. Ike's attack is high. I'm gonna give this to Ike. So give it a little bit more hit rate. Give it a bit of crit rate. Oh, that's so much money though. I'll do that. This is gonna be my ultimate weapon for Ike. Whenever he needs to kill something, this is it. This is it. The ultra, oh, the ultra silver sword. I wish I could name weapons this game. I'm gonna call this the ultra sword. There we go. That's a lot of money, but you know what? It's worth it. Wanna change, oh, I can change the weapon name? I can, oh my gosh, the ultra sword. The Ultra Sword. There we go. I didn't know you could name. That's so cool, dude. That's awesome. All right. Cancel, then end. Ultra Sword. Yes, the Ultra Sword. How about the color? Oh, I can change the color. That's sick. I'm going to do blue. Or like, hold on. White. No, that's kind of default. Black. That could be cool. I kind of like blue. I'll go blue. The Ultra Blue Sword. That's so sick. All right. That's going to go in the comic for now, but I will be using the Ultra Sword one day. That's awesome. Anyway, let's get back to business. Um, <laughs> we got some info here. Soren, three stars. This is gonna be interesting. I wonder what Soren has to say. Hey, dude. Hmm. Soren, are you in here? Yes. Oh, it is Ike. It is Ike. Okay. I guess it said unknown. It could have just said Ike. Whatever. Ike, it's late. What do you want? Shh. Um, Ike. Oh, uh, oh no. How strange. I was sure he'd come this way. Yoo hoo. Wait, what? That voice. It's the woman from the item shop, isn't it? Oh gosh. <laughs> that's the freaking oh uh, that's that lady who kept flirting with ike back on the boat oh my gosh commander ike where have you gone handsome crud did you run in here to escape look whenever that woman corners me it takes forever for, uh, to get away let me hide in here till things simmer down we begin marching tomorrow morning this is a waste of valuable time i'll go and chase her away wait soren is that it okay no it's not Ike, Ikey Poo, where are you? Amy? Oh, Soren, ew. I mean, um, hi. What are you, uh, wh why are you out so late? Do you have some business with Ike? Well, yes, I do. I found a special something that I'd like to give to him. Do you know where he is? Ike is in a war meeting. If you have something for him, I can hold on to it for you. Hmm, what should I do? You see, I have this new staff. The staff is very valuable. I'm not sure if I feel comfortable simply handing it over to someone who doesn't understand that. That's a uh, hammering, is it not? A rare staff that can take any item, no matter how battered and worn, and repair it completely. Ooh. Why, that's the Ultra Sword, dude! Why, that's right. You're quite knowledgeable, aren't you? If I may continue, I believe that there is only one of these in all the world. It is truly priceless. How is there only one and yet you recognize it? Okay, that's weird. And you want to give this to Ike? Well, I do want to be helpful. If you truly wish to capture Ike's attention, bring him stabs and whatnot will avail- Oh, bringing him stabs and whatnot will avail you nothing. What? Really? Oh dear, I was so hoping he would like it. Food, however, would be much more effective than a staff. He's particularly fond of spicy meat dishes. Is that so? Cooking is not something that I'm skilled at, but- Oh, I've got it. I know the perfect dish! Ah, good. He will be very pleased. Um, what about the staff? Hee <laughs> hee, you can keep it as payment for the cooking tip. Take good care of it. Hmm. Well, she's unexpectedly generous. I received something quite nice from your admirer, Ikey Poo. Thank you so much. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Freaking. Oh my gosh. Only three uses? That's still a super rare staff, though. A staff that restores an item to its maximum durability. I could do that to, like, the Royal Sword, too. Or what? The Regal Sword? I could. Oh, that's so good. I'm gonna have. That's another endgame item. Another endgame item. Um, but yeah, can I send that off to the convoy? Yes. Okay, now, Sheenon, how are you doing, my dude? Uh, understood. Proceed as ordered. Sir, yes, sir! What's next? Huh? Who's there? Sir, yes, sir. Hey, it's General Ike the Great. I heard all about it, you know? Those guys I went and made you a noble. Sheenon? Good for you, huh? Har har. <laughs> oh, he's drunk. <laughs> You're in love with... Pretty little, a uh, pretty little princess. You're fighting side by side with your subhuman pals. Yes, you're moving up. Oh, look at you. It's big Mr. Ike, leading the good life. They're not subhumans. They're lagoos. Yeah, whatever. Here's the deal. Now that you're high, now that you're a high and mighty, uh, high class noble, you can't be running around with a bunch of broke mercenaries. All the other nobles are gonna laugh at you. So give it up. 
I'll do you a favor and take over. I don't think so. I'm going to continue as the commander of the Grail Mercenaries. Screw you! You always get everything. Don't you ever want to give up on anything? No, not big Mr. Uh, not important Mr. Ike. You've always been like this. You act like you're not interested in, in something, then you swoop in and steal it away! Hey, Shinon? What? What? And watch how you say my name, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Widow boy, Ike. Widow Ikey. Shinon, what's wrong with you? Are you feeling alright? What do you care, you snotty whelp? It's none of your business! And another thing, about the uh, about the command uh, the command of the company. If you refuse to give it up, at least change the name. You're not Commander Grail, just because you're his son. That doesn't give you the right to use his name. Shinon, are you sure you're alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll be fine. Fine, fine. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Ugh. <laughs> I, I, it was never about the commander sh uh, commandership. It was about my father. Aw, that is pretty. That's so nice, dude. Yeah, she not. He does seem to have a lot of respect for a girl, so I really like that. Though drunk, she not. Not sure if I like that. Um. Anyway, do we got some interesting supports? Oh, here we go. I can Soren a support. Interesting. Okay. Hey, Soren. Nothing. I've been thinking a lot about what you uh, what you said the other day, and there's something I still don't understand. You survived. You're strong. Why would you feel insecure about who you are? Oh yeah, that's right. In the last um last conversation, we learned about Soren's past or something. Tell me. Tell me everything. Curse you. Why can't you leave me be? I don't have any friends, Ike. I don't have anyone else. If I tell you and you turn on me, I... I... I don't think I can survive it. That's why you have to tell me, Soren. You'll never tell anyone else. And if you don't tell anyone, you're just gonna keep suffering. Look at you. You're a mess. Come on. Talk to me. Ike. I... I... Soren, it's me. Trust me. I don't give two figs who your parents are. I'll stand by you. Ike, I... No, I won't. <sighs> Ike! I'm... Branded. I'm one of the branded. A branded? What's that? It's a cross between a Bayark and a Laguse. What? You're a Laguse? Or like half Laguse? How? What, what kind? You don't have pointy ears. Um... Okay. Such a taboo union violates everything teaching of the goddess and of society. We are untouchables, abnum, uh, abominations, condemned to live a life of hatred and shunning from both races. So why are you calling them subhumans, yet you're yet you're a Laguz, half Laguz yourself? Maybe he's trying to reject that part of him and stay a human? Or I guess as he would call it human, Bayark. Um, that's weird. Wait, wait, hold it a second. Let me make sure that I follow you. You're part Laguz? Yeah, this mark on my forehead is the proof. I learned about it while researching ancient books at the Maino Cathedral. Oh, so you just read it? You just found out recently? I always thought it was a birthmark. Others thought it was the mark of a spirit charmer. What's a spirit charmer? Magic comes from uh, interaction with spirits. If you let one into your body, it will give you tremendous power for a price. That's why the old sage was so interested in me. He thought I had struck such a deal, but instead, I was just a filthy branded. Alright, I understand. So? What do you mean, so? So you have Lagoo's butt in your veins. So you have a mark to prove it. So what's the problem? What's the problem? Don't you find me repugnant? I work beside you, eat beside you. I'm nothing. I don't belong anywhere. Doesn't that sicken you? No, it doesn't change anything. You're still you, Soren. You're a capable officer of our army and my friend. We can't uh, we can't keep going unless you are with us. I I thought I thought you What? It was Gallia. The sage lived in Gallia. A few Bayarks had settled there in Gallia? Are you saying when the sage died, no one would help me. I couldn't speak, couldn't find food. I was dying. You were the only one who helped, you and your father. That's why you're my friend, my only friend. Aww, Soren, that's so sad. That's why he's, aww. Soren's part Laguz? Wait, so am I, if that, he reveals that in a support. So is that never gonna come up again in the story? Or maybe it will? What the heck? That's so interesting. Soren's part Laguz. I never would have guessed. What? Is he like a... Could he be a part dragon? Because he doesn't have pointy... Well, no, dragons have pointy ears, don't they? Yeah. Um, freaking Nasir and Ina had pointy ears. So, what kind? Can he transform? 
Or is he just like, oh, he's got the mark. He's just that, is that because he's a branded one, so he can't transform? So he's like stuck in his Bayork form, but he he has the blood of a Laguz. Is that what it is? That could be what it is. Um, is. I'm also quite interested in seeing if I can do Racing and Ike's C support, but I want to wait and see who these other two mystery characters are. And until then, I'm not going to do it. Look at all this bonus EXP we got. I'm actually going to use a little bit of this. Um, Let's see. Someone was falling behind, wasn't, weren't they? Um, Let's see. River and Lord. I'll give a level to Jill. How about that? I'll give her 100 EXP, but this is a lot of bonus EXP, so I could totally, like, freaking get Gatry all the way back up to the rest of my squad if I really wanted to. That's so cool. All right, okay, so Jill's getting a level up there. Give me some luck. Okay, that's not a very good level, but you know what? At least it gets you one. Um, I think that's good for now. Um, I might want to give, like... Man, there's so many characters I want to... I really want to use Tanith, because she has that really interesting ability called Reinforce. And I looked up how this works. So basically, it will like summon one Falcon Knight and two Pegasus Knights two times per map. That's insane. That's six reinforcements that I can have do my bidding. That's amazing. That's in a that's a broken ability. Like Tana seems like she'd be into the Sonic Sword, and her speed is so fast. Like she's a good unit. She's just a level ten Falcon Knight, so I just am reluctant to use her because she only has ten more levels. But and, and her her growth could be really high, so that could make up for it. And like. Oh, wrist dude i really want there's so many characters i want to use it and like khalil i kind of want to use her too like i missed the chance for tormod he I, I missed him so far like i really liked the uh this increased movement by two spaces but he's just a level seven mage he's too far off if he started off at like level 12 maybe and like khalil she's already kind of up with the pack however the main reason that i kind of want to use her is because she can support with nephany and then she could potentially give nephany more avo or something i'm not sure um I'm gonna get a few more items and then I think I'll be ready to go. Alright, and with that, I think I'm ready to head out, so let's leave the base. I got a couple more silver swords and iron swords. Oh, Patrine. So they're finally here, are they? Has the work on the bridge been finished? And your answer has uh, had better be yes. Y yes, General. Do you think it'll work? Sometimes the simplest of traps offer up the best results. Lure the enemy in, then finish them off one by one. Got it. Okay, that just sounds like what they were trying earlier at the capital. Listen up, dogs. There will be no retreating today. We stop Crimea's advance here. We will not allow them to gain the comfort of their homeland. Any who do not face on, who not fight to the death and will face my lance. Okay, so we're up against Patrine? Is that what it is? Okay, there's the bridge. Wow, it's huge. I doubt if Dane's gonna let us cross over without objection. Yeah, I think that's highly unlikely. Titania, it's time to march. Make sure the troops stay alert and move with caution. Understood, Commander. Say, Ike, there's one thing I've been meaning to ask you. What is it? I haven't seen Nasir around. What's happened to him? Oh, that's right. He wasn't around for the betrayal. He was declared an enemy combatant and locked up. What? Hey, I understand you being irked that he didn't mention uh, testing you and all, but treating him like a criminal is too... Testing me? What are you talking about? Huh? Oh, um, nice weather, eh? <laughs> We're gonna talk. Now. Uh-oh. The test? Um, Nasir is a Dane spy? No way! That's not possible! He was our spy! You're telling me he was a galleon spy, uh, galleon spy? None of this makes sense to me. He worked for us on behalf of the king, but Dane? As a Laguz, he would have absolutely no reason to work for them. Well, Ina, maybe. Uh, but there was a gold doan named Ina who was working as a general for Dane. Are you serious? Yes, we were, uh, we were forced to fight her in the Dane capital. When we attempted to capture her, Nasir intervene, uh, intervened and allowed her to escape. He betrayed us. What? Hold on a minute. Maybe that was... If that's the case, then I can see why. No, even so, teaming up with Dane is just too much. Hmm. I hate to interrupt whatever it is you're doing, but we've arrived at the bridge. Let me speak to Nasir, please! Once we finish this battle, we can go together, alright? Of course. Okay. Wait, is Radoff gonna fight with us? Ooh, water. Look at that. Oh, it's a straight shot. And there's freaking Ballistas? And Patrine? Um... Who's this? All right, Har. Time for you to go to work. Oh, General Har, or freaking Har, Commander Har. No, Mom. Five more minutes. Ugh. Dozing off on the battlefield. You got a lot of nerve, don't you? Hey, wake up or I'll burn you to a crisp. <laughs> what? All uh, right. Has the enemy arrived? Yes. They just got here. Now get out there and do your job. Oh, I'm all over it. <sighs> what an absolute fool. <laughs> I like Har, dude. He's funny. <laughs> Always being tired. Okay, so that's... Oh, is that? That's Har. That's Patrine. Oh, yeah. Patrine's on the... She's a paladin. Oh, wait. Oh, I have to fight both? 
Okay, this is interesting. Oh, there's walls. I can use like the little walls as my, I see. Okay, Ralph is here. Is he with me? Well, here we are. And there's the Dane army, uh, Dane army on the other side as expected. They're already in battle formation and waiting for us to give a, give a warm welcome. Oh, that's charming. That's just what I want. Oh, ho, well said. And by the way, I thought I'd join you today. Not as Galleon, but uh, but uh, but as part of our army, right? If it's uh, if it's a problem, I can always sit this one out. Of course not. Thanks for your continued support, Rano. Ha! The pleasure's all mine. Let's go carve us some Danes. All right, that was actually pretty good. So, is he? Well, let me check him out. Where is Rano? Okay, Beast Tribe level nine. Ooh, he's pretty fast, and this is just his human form. So. 46 HP, that's really good too. Um, man, another new character with Randolph? I really like Randolph too! Ah, oh, there's so many good characters I want to use. And Astrid's still... Dude, this is tough. Actually, I could have Volk set this one out. Okay, so Volk, I feel like I'm not going to invest in Volk. I'm only going to have him go for freaking treasures. And it doesn't seem to be like there's any treasures on this map. I can take a quick look over now. I should just take a look over this map anyway. Oh, they got Lagoos here. Yep, they got Pharaoh ones. So here's Commander Har, Brave Axe. Um, Guard. Okay, he's got Guard. That seems pretty decent. Um, Riven Lord level. He's actually pretty buff. That defense is a little bit scary. And he's actually kind of fast too. So keep that Brave Axe away from someone like Boyd. Oh, there's so many units back here, dude. There's so many. And finally, General Patrine. Oh, Flame Lance. That makes sense as to why she was saying, I'm going to burn you. Deals magical rather than physical damage. Okay. Her magic's pretty high, though. But she only has... Okay. So her attack is 28, but magical. She's actually really strong. Holy moly. Flame Lance is... Um, it's two range, so I can't... Actually, what the heck? I literally just used Soren. I literally used Soren. Attack 28. How much damage would you do then? You'd do like, how much damage to freaking Soren? Where are you, buddy? Um, 24 versus 20, what was it, 28? You'd do four damage to Soren. And Soren beats you uh, if you try to double him. So you're only gonna do four damage. Okay, well, we found our answer. It's Soren, or even Ilyana. Yeah, they both have like super high freaking res. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think. Oh, you know what? Ugh. I don't think I wanna bring Rayson. Cause look at this. Look at all these freaking longbow users. Well, actually, their range isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, Killer Bow? Actually, I don't know. This guy's range is pretty big. Uh, do I bring flyers? I'm not sure. Let me think. Actually, yeah, let me think. Okay, I just double-checked. It apparently seems like we can recruit Har with Jill. I wanted to make sure if we could recruit anybody in this chapter. It didn't look like we could. But, you know, I always want to check just to be safe. It looks like we can recruit Har with Jill, so... It's so strange how much Jill is integral to the plot, just despite being kind of a side character. That's why this game is so good at making characters. Okay, so we have to bring Jill. We're gonna have to bring Jill. That makes me concerned, though, because I want to get up to this guy. Um, actually, don't they, he doesn't have five usages, so I could actually just time these things out. It's clear C, so there's not a turn limit. Um, this seems like it's gonna be kind of tough, but I think I'm okay to bring my flyers. I think it'll be okay. Oh, actually, Jill's gonna be fine either way, because we have full guard. So that doesn't allow our bonus damage against, um, freaking arrows. And I do have, uh, Rayson with the Bayork Guard, which I don't think this actually works. I don't think I've seen this even work once. It says it's half the attack done by Bayorks, but I don't know, dude. I, I haven't seen it work, at least. Uh, because I feel like when I had it on somebody else, it just didn't work. Even though it was, like, only for Lagoos. Um, I think I'm good to go. Let me just check one more time. All right, so far we haven't had to restart too many chapters, at least due to my own lack of skills. So let's do this. Begin now. Anything? Attention, let's whew, go. Hmm, maybe I can catch a nap while we fly. <laughs> oh, where are you going? He's just gone? But, um, the, 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 apparently he's supposed to be recruitable. All right, anyway, I guess let's just start off. So we got Hammer. All right, we got a lot of, a lot of axe users off the bat. So let's just start off with Mia then. Um, she'll dodge all these. She is freaking Mia after all. Again, anytime I doubt anything, I just throw Mia at it. Okay, probably Ike with the same way. Do that right there. Um, go for that. I haven't Silver Sword on him too, so that's cool. Um, do I wanna... Let's see. What is your range again? For some reason, this guy's range isn't that good. Um, with this thing. Is he on it? I don't know. It feels like it's less than this guy. I don't know. Maybe it's just because... I don't know why, actually. Is it because he's an archer and that guy's a sniper? Maybe that's why. Um, anyway, there's the range. Right there, um, I guess that's the actual true range. So let's just stay out of that range. Yeah, flyers can't actually fly out. This is the edge of the map, so 
this is gonna be kind of an interesting little map that we got here. Um, just having it be uh, only, you know, um, one big straight line. Like, there's some walls and stuff, but that's about it. Just like one big straight line, the bridge. I kind of like that. Like, in other bridge chapters that I've done in Fire Emblem, it's like, they've got curves in it, but this is just a freaking straight line, and yet it already looks like I'm having to have to do a lot of strategy. Just in this little straight line, just because of, like, the way things are set up in it. But you know what? Hopefully, things won't be too bad. Let's just get my army up to the very top. There could be reinforcements from behind. I don't think there would be, but in just in case, let's just be careful. So, sword uses out in the front, beating the weapon triangle. Okay, frick. Uh, messed up there. Hand axe or bow? Okay, thank goodness. It's our short axe, my bad. Whoa, the bridge looks sick! Yo! The bridge! I actually love how the bridge looks, dude. Okay, that warrior is looking a little clean, too. Um, dude, that looked pretty cool. Look at that. I love, like, when it looked like in the back. That looked really cool, dude. All right, vantage. Okay. Mia, I feel like... Oh, I should give a... Nice one, Mia. Um, I should give a silver sword to Mia sometime. She's fast at... Well, Silver Sword had 11 weight, I think? Um, yeah, so if that's the case... Wait, dodge? Dodge, Mia? Okay, that doesn't even do anything, so it's fine. Um, yeah, Silver Sword has 25 uses and 11 weight, so Mia would be able to double with it, which is fine. Here comes the hammer. Man, every time I see a hammer, I'm just like, oh, if I had Gatry, that would actually be a problem, but you know what? Considering Gatry is, uh, he's on, let's say he's just on paid vacation or something. <laughs> hey, get back here. What? How can you guys freaking reach? I didn't think you could. All right, Iron Lance. You know, Jill actually can use axes right now. I should have given her an axe. Nice dodge, double? Okay, I didn't think so. I don't want to get too carried away. I'm already got I already got lucky enough with the dodges. So, uh, oh, hello. Hello, you guys want to come down? Um, okay, sure. So more axe users, more axe users. Watch out for the feral one. Um, yeah, I think I'll just stay right here. Actually, I'll put Ike in the range of the feral one. Why not? Right there seems pretty good. Um, hammer range is right there. So I think I want to take out these two guys with everyone else that I can use. So Ilyana, you're probably going to be up here. Can you take out this guy? Um, oh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Actually, go for Elfire because your Elfire is about to run out. You're level 6, right? Okay. That's actually the same level as Khalil. So here's the other thing. I have so much bonus EXP. So that if I ever want to use a different unit... I can always get them up with the rest of the team by using bonus EXP. And bonus EXP is so good. It's such a nice addition, and they should totally bring it back to other games. I guess, actually, if you bring back bonus EXP, you have to get rid of side mission grinding. Um, should I use Ranulf? I can't even use Ranulf. No, not yet. Oh, I should have given him the freaking Demi Band. Why didn't I do that? Oh my gosh, I'm stupid. If I gave him the Demi Band, that would have been so much better. Because I have one, so why wouldn't I use it? Actually, missed? Can you get some more sword training here? Uh... Well, actually, no, because I want I want you to be able to run away after that. So, you're using Hand Axe. So, I could do Rolf. Um, he's probably going to crit because he's Rolf. 21% chance. You're not going to get hit, hopefully. Um, let's see. I do. I did get Miss um, re-equipped with a Men, so she has 20 uses of heals, which is good. So, I don't have to worry about any of that. No crits. That's fine. I could give it to Mist, but I think Mist is already, like, level 6, so I want to give this to someone who needs level ups. Like, doesn't Rolf? He's, like, level 3. Yeah, he needs some more levels. Um, okay. So the first two levels in the entire game, Jill and Rolf both are just getting luck. I don't know what the heck they think they're doing. Speaking of Jill, you want to go for Steel Axe? Yes, you do. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. You can't freaking dodge this. Try and dodge this, dude. 94% hit rate. Don't be a so. Don't be a so. Come on, Jill. There we go. I like looking at the water back in there. Dude, for some reason, looking at, like, all... I love comparing games water. If, I don't know what it is. For some reason, whenever I see a video game... Yeah, whenever I see a video game, I'm just like, whoa. Because <laughs> I love video games, but, like... Whenever I see water in a video game, I'm always just like, how does this water look, and how does it compare with this water in this game? Like, um, I think I mentioned this before, but uh, Paper Mario the Origami King, I never really had a desire to play that, but once I saw the water, I was like, hmm, hmm, you know, maybe I do want to play this. Um, let's see, we can have Mia move, like, right there so I can get Oscar out of range. Never mind, okay, the hammer can still hit him, but he's freaking Oscar, so he'll dodge. Um, let's see, do I, I didn't trigger you, watch out for your range, then you could come down right there, ooh, okay. I could put Soren right there so that he can get rid of the mage right there. He's using Alfire, so I can use Al Win to make sure I have the most doubling chance possible, but also just so that um, I can start using more wind magic. Actually, what's your wind magic at Soren? It's at B. So I think it, once we reach A, we can use Tornado, which I'm pretty sure took um, took A level magic. So here we go. Rayson, you're going to become a bird in about three turns, which is cool. Um, I think Randolph is in about two turns, which is even cooler. Um, actually, I wonder if chanting... Does chanting affect, um... Ooh, I wonder. Because I've chanted to Ranolf twice. If I chant to Ranolf, 
then, like, if I move him again, does that help him become a, a freaking beast faster? I don't think it does. But if it did, that'd be kind of like a weird way to cheese. Um, becoming a beast faster, but I should have just got the demi band. I think I have it on Mordecai or something, and I totally should have just snagged it from him. Okay, dodge again, Mia. Thank you. Yeah, Hammer has pretty bad hit rate, to my knowledge. I think it's also like 65, just like the Killer Axes, because it has like that bonus damage, so it has to be reduced somewhere. Okay, no strength? Okay, we found out that your speed is not capped yet. Um, speed and luck keep getting that more Evo. So I should actually check this turn if you um, cap out your speed, because for some reason, I thought Nephany was going to be able to have a lot more speed. But I guess not, which is a little bit unfortunate because now she's not going to be able to double as many people. Like, capping out at 26, that seems a little too early. But then again, I guess, considering GBA games, I don't know. I'm thinking of, like, 3DS stats. 3DS game stats are a lot higher than GBA Saga stats. Like, I don't know, that's just how, they just like to inflate the stats, I guess. Um, so let's see here. So Mia, your speed is not capped, thank goodness. I really don't want you to have capped speed yet, considering, what the, pitfalls? No. No! This game has pitfalls? No! Ah! Uh, Freaking pitfalls. Ah! Uh, no! This game has pitfalls! Uh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Can you restore staff pitfalls? I don't remember. It's been so long since I've experienced pitfalls in Fire Emblem, so like... Oh my gosh, dude. I, <laughs> I didn't know pitfalls were in this game. It's been so long. How, what is this, chapter 23? Jeez, okay. Um, Wow, I'm surprised that pitfalls are in this game, considering how long we've had without it. Um, can I get Ilyana up here? Okay, thank goodness. Um, Actually, hold on. Your range... Oh, that's actually perfect. That's perfect. I can use Ilyana um, to you, and then, well, uh, I guess I could use Ike. Actually, now that makes... Oh, that was the trap, wasn't it? That was the trap. I see now. Because they said, uh, freaking Petrine was like the most... Or what'd she say? Like, the simple traps are the most effective? It's a pitfall. It's a freaking pitfall. <laughs> okay. I think Mist is actually, like, nearby, so I can test to see if you can restore from pitfalls. I want to say that you can't, but I don't remember. It's been so- oh, I can't even reach. Okay. It's been so long that I just don't remember. Um, let's see. Ike? Um, do I want Silver Sword? Oh, go for Silver Sword. Go for it. I don't even need to, but I just want to see it on the field. Where's the Silver Sword? Okay. I can't really see it that well, but finally Ike is going in with a Silver Sword, and it looks pretty cool. There we go. That's one in it. That's another freaking axe you down. I'm actually glad I used that silver sword, so then I could take you out. Um, freaking over level level nine Ike. That's okay. Um, let's see here. So obviously I don't take any bonus damage from any of these guys. Um, the mage. Can you reach? I can't tell. You can't reach. The mage can't reach. So who can reach? Boom. You. You. You can. So, but you can't reach unless you use Kanto. So hopefully you'll attack first because you're not. Well, actually, be you. But if I use a Steel Axe, Jill won't die because she's got freaking bolt. So I can actually come up here and use Jill to kill you. The mage can't reach, and we're fine because she has the freaking item on that allows her to reduce damage from arrows, or at least no bonus damage. So that way arrows are going to be trash against her. Without any bonus damage, at, um, Wyverns have nothing to fear against arrows. Look at that dragon, dude. He is vibing like crazy. He's sticking his arms out. He's like, yeah, dude, war. War is, war is heck. <laughs> Uh, Karagi. Okay, actually, I can move you one back and then just avoid that whole problem entirely. I'm gonna do that instead, actually. Just in case, for some reason, something weird happens. Um, that mage never actually came down. Can I bait him down with, like, Nephany? Nephany's got plenty of bulk. Wait, hold on. You got L Fire, not L Thunder, right? L. Oh, you do have L Thunder. Okay. Um, did. Was Nephany's luck bad? It's not that great. Um, who has good luck? Mist has really good luck. She has good res, too. Uh, I could do Mist to bait? Uh, be right there? He's probably not gonna come out, but just in case, I'll put Mist right there. That will also allow her to, um, be in range of Mia next turn, I think. I think it's, she's still one away. But if not, that's okay. Um, uh, does anyone need healing for, with Raisin? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I'm just gonna move Nephany up right next to Mia, and hopefully there's no more pitfalls. Actually, pitfalls always happen, um, while you're moving, so it's fine. Oh, I missed a chance. I'm stupid. Okay. Um, oh! 
I didn't even notice freaking Randolph. Okay, let's see Randolph's stats. Okay, pretty good. Really fast, really strong, really defensive as a cat. Okay, uh, I'm gonna shoot you all the way up here. Let's see if you can get some action, Randolph. Actually, hold on, wait. Check for Lagoose Slayers. Check for Lagoose base weapons. Um, there's a Feral one. Blizzard. Oh, Blizzard. But I can steal it. And I can hit you. Oh, I can't hit the walls. That's right. I can't hit the walls in this game. He, I gotta I gotta freaking remember that. For some reason, you can't hit the walls in this game. Tornado 2. Okay. Tornado. Yeah, Tornado is A. Um, any other? There's Light Magic. Okay, it looks like there's only one long-range magic user, and that's you. But if I come up there with... Um, Freaking, uh, actually, what is the range? Oh, shoot. Jill's in range of the Blizzard user. Um, well, then again, he's probably not going to move. He's probably stationary. I'm going to hope. Um, actually, all of you guys are in range of station, uh, the freaking Blizzard user. Um, I'll just move Randolph anyway. He doesn't have the best of res, but I think he'll be fine because he has a pretty decent defense. I'm actually going to be right there. That way, people can't hit me through walls. Um, you okay? You out of the pitfall? What was that? Um, okay, Soren. Arrows against Soren, 12 damage, that's okay. He's next to Rayson, so that's perfect. Oh my gosh, that's perfect, dude. Okay, another one against Mia. Okay, nice, she's dodging the pitfall. <laughs> she's literally using the pitfall as cover, dude. Okay, there's the there, okay, there's Jill, that's what I thought. Is it, you got a sword, though. Oh, no, even Axe, okay, just look like you have a sword. Here comes the Axe, Axe v Axe, boom. Nice dodge, Jill, now you hit. That's right, that's how this game works. You don't hit anyone. All my team members are dodging for freaking days. Jill, who I thought was the slowest person on the planet, now she's a bullet. Okay, Mia, can you get out of there now? Um, that's right, Soren. There you go. That's so cheese, dude. Rayson is so freaking cheese. <laughs> I love Rayson, dude. Uh, now I'm kind of scared to bring him closer, though, because the killer... Um, I know the killer does not transfer into the actual... Um... Interesting, you didn't actually... You Are you attacked? You did attack Mia. Yeah, because you only have four left. And he didn't attack Jill, so that shows me that your priorities are after attacking Mia, which is cool. So, Randolph, I'm gonna have you attack this mage here. <sighs> Why did I expect anything less, honestly? Why did I expect anything less? <laughs> that was honestly really funny, though. Come on, I'll, I'll take that. That was funny. That was funny. Okay, Mia. Okay, you can step outside. Um, Mist? Okay, I'm actually going to use Physic in this turn. Because we have plenty of Physics. So I'm going to go Physic from the back. I know she's probably not going to need it. But just in case. Because I'm moving her up, right? And she's going to... I want to see if she can kill the Archer. Well, then again, how much? How many uses does the Archer have? We're on turn four. I don't think it matters that much. Um, But it is Mia. So let's see. Steel. Axe. Well, here's the thing. If I move Mia up too far, she'll get hit by you. She'll get hit by you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Okay, that's too much. That's a bit too much. So who... Can anyone survive that? I got I want to kill the archer, but... Uh, I can't go too far. Now Randolph's stuck in a freaking pit. Uh, Let's see. I can't move Rayson out past the range, so I can't sing anybody out past this range. Um, Man, that, my plans have gone awry. I could do Jill... Actually, I just could do Oscar. Um, he doesn't have enough range. I'll do this. Actually, wait. Oscar could... I could put... Hold on, let's see. Oh, if Rayston was a bird, then he could do that. Um, if I put Oscar where Soren is, so if I move Soren back to... And I put Oscar right here, then I could actually see if I can um, have him attack the freaking... Um, the freaking Elf Thunder user. And uh, see if it can knock him out. I don't think he'll be able to reach... But if he can, I'm going to go for it. He can't reach. That's unfortunate. Um, I'll put him right here then. See if I can just have him bait down somebody. Go for like Iron Lance. Uh, go for like Steel Lance. I did put Steel, uh, our Silver Sword, onto Oscar, but he can't use it just yet. Um, are Steel Weapons A or are they B? They've always been, they've been B in most games, but they might be A in this game. Um, I can check real fast right after this is done. But I thought you had enough Steel. Uh, or sorry, Steve, I thought you had enough lance practice, but I guess you don't, Oscar, which is weird, because I've attacked with you, like, throughout this entire freaking game. Yeah, wait right there. Um, your lance is B. Okay, so it's A. Okay, so it is A. That's interesting. I feel I feel like it's A in some games and B in others. Um, so Jill, can you actually come over here and, uh, do this with Jill? Now, see, because I'm, I'm worried. What worries me is Blizzard user. Blizzard user is what truly worries me. Because he has the max change right here. Um, I think I guess, I, I think I just gotta wait it out. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for the hard, let's wait it out. Right there. Um, 
freaking pitfall, dude. Pitfall's so funny, dude. I love pitfalls. I hate pitfalls, but I love them. They're, it's like a love-hate relationship with pitfalls. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna stay right here. I'm just gonna hope and pray that Randolph doesn't freaking die. He can't, he can't get doubled, but he can't get crit. All right, Randolph. It's up to you, buddy. Come on, Randolph. You can do it. Pitfall. All right. Uh, missed. Okay. We got racing, though. That's perfect. That's 10 damage. That's race and healing. Oh my gosh, dude. Putting weak characters right outside the range and then having race and heal them is actually kind of busted. Okay. Come on. Don't get critted. That's not a crit. How much damage? Probably gonna be decent. Yeah, that's pretty decent. A crit wouldn't have killed. Oh, but you can counterattack because you're. Oh, you're stationary. You're stupid. Ranolf, dude. Ranolf's blue? I thought he'd be like an orange cat. That's cool, though. I like blue. Who's cooler? Oh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. It's still cool seeing Ranolf at the field. Okay. Here comes the other archer. Nice dodge. Dude, Mia's dodges are like huge sidesteps. It feels like, it looks so effortless. Oh, Blizzard. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Randolph? Okay, why did I care? <laughs> he's taking cover, that's what he's doing. He's taking cover in the freaking pitfall. Um, that's right, I haven't even realized there's gonna be even more pitfalls, so I gotta be careful of that. It's not like I can just guarantee myself that I'm gonna be able to kill somebody, because there's pitfalls all around this area. So far, they haven't been too bad, but that's also because we haven't been running into a ton of enemies just yet. And I can't forget that there's the fact that reinforcements can appear in any freaking map. Okay, I think we're good. Recent Birdman? Oh, you're no, you're healing. That's right, you're healing missed. Okay, actually, I, th I think you are turning into Birdman this turn. Um, either that or next turn. Birdman? Birdman? Birdman, that's right. Okay, there's the Birdman. Okay, so that should help us out a little bit. Um, Randolph is here. He can... He dodged. 36. Um, let's do this. How much? 23. Okay. So there's no way you're gonna die. You have freaking 22 defense. There's no way you're gonna die. You have 12, oh my gosh, it's already going down. Okay, that should be okay. 19, okay, you're dead. Dude, Laguz? Ah, man, now I'm remembering that I freaking, how, why Mordecai carried me at the beginning of the game is because Laguz are so freaking powerful. Look at that dodge! Did you see that? It came straight for his head. You know what he did? He didn't dodge the side. He just backed up. He just moved straight back. He doesn't care, he's, he's spacing. Dude, Randolph is spacing. What a guy, dude. What a freaking guy. All right, Ike. From the Fire Emblem series of games. No pitfalls. Iron. Okay. Steel sword. Steel sword kill. Okay. Goodbye, you. Now I don't have to worry about Race and getting hit too much. He can move up a little bit. Dude, Ike just looks so freaking cool, dude. I don't care. Again, I know I'm probably not supposed to be getting most of these kills to Ike, but I don't care. I just like Ike that much to give him all these kills. Longbow. Oh, I actually get to keep that. Um, that's, oh, that's awesome, because I only have one. I only have one longbow, so now, now I can freaking give it to other people. Okay, Jill, that's yours. You steal that, right? There you go. Nine damage, perfect. Iron Lance, that's right. I'm telling you, having an Iron Lance on Jill always is pretty good. Her hit rate's still not great. Is her biorhythm bad, maybe? Apparently her biorhythm was, like, really, really bad in the, um, chapter where she had to fight her dad. And so maybe because she's fighting hard, it's also bad in this one. I'm not sure. Um... Let's see. Is it bad right now? Uh, no, it's actually pretty high. Never mind. Okay, that's weird. Let's see here. Um, uh, Oscar? Let's see. But we're going to be a feral one. And he's probably going to be fast. Okay, he's not that fast. He's not faster than Oscar. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, so that's your range. I'll put Oscar next to Ike. That gives him some bonus Evo, right? You get Evo 2. Yeah, you get Evo 2. Um, let's see. So now, your range is what I'm scared of. Killer Bow Man. So you, I could put Mist, uh, Must, did I call it Mustard? All right, I could put Mustard right here, put Racing right there. Can't really do too much just yet. Um, I'll actually have Ilyana come up too as well. That way she gets hit, she's fine. Boyd, you're probably not gonna get hit. Um, go right there. Then form up a little bit of, little bit of a wall. Actually, a little bit a little farther. Uh, yeah, yeah, right there's fine. Um, I'm more worried about the Blizzard plus the feral one that's what scares me the most is blizzard plus feral one then soren um you can also step right actually no stay behind stay behind rolf you can get up there too i just want people to like be next to racing as well and then i can chant for all three of you which is pretty epic then um do i want to physic anybody randolph doesn't need it um because he can only get hurt by blizzard and it look look i think blizzard's crit rate is like pretty mediocre right um, and I also want to see if I can kill that Blizzard user as fast as I can. That way I can steal his weapons. I'm more worried about, like, this. There's such a amalgamation or conglomerate of enemies over there. And it's just like, ugh. Oh, it's a bit much, if you ask me. Um, let's see. Physic. Jill's fine. Is, oh, Jill's the only one I keep in can? Okay, never mind. We're good. Besides Reynolds. All right, enemy phase time. What do we got? 
Obviously you, going after Mist. No crits because freaking. Okay, that actually does a little bit more damage than the last time, but Racing is here. Then Blizzard, okay, obviously against Randolph Dodge. Randolph, because you're freaking fast. Nice, okay. Um, maybe I'll be able to save one Blizzard use, I think. Okay, Pharaoh one. This is what, kind of what I'm scared of. I know you can't double Mia, but you're probably gonna do really good damage to her. Oh, crit time. Boom, that does nothing. Um, dodge, please, at least dodge, okay. Yeah, see, Mia versus Laguz is honestly a losing battle. Mia, it's it's weird, because like, Swordmasters are good. So they can kind of beat anyone that they can really try, except for Generals, I guess, and um, freaking uh, Laguz. They aren't very good. And there was those reinforcements in the back there. So now that I have a team behind me, um, I can actually, what was it? Swords? All swords? Swords, Laguz Slayer, Silverblade, Longsword. Okay, that is pretty powerful with that Silverblade. But we have Jill in the back, and I could even move Oscar back there too, which is really good because I won't have to worry about anything after that. So Randolph, ooh, I could totally be risky. Tornado is really scary though. Um, high level wind magic, but you're not gonna double. You only have 19 attack, so it's gonna do 10 damage to him. No one else is gonna be able to do any damage to him. You have you, you could be able to reach if you're sit right there. So two tornadoes, 19 and a 20 attack. Um, that would be 10 and 11 damage. That would make you go down quite a bit, but I think it's worth it. I think that's worth it. Uh, <laughs> come on! Pitfalls! Okay, Ilyana? Yes, this is what I was looking for. That's why I moved her up this turn. And I can do, I only need one Elfire usage, that's fine. You're not gonna double anyway, Ilyana. You're not the fastest person on the block. Um, but you're quick enough to not get doubled. That's the thing. That's the thing I really like about Ilyana. While she's pretty middling with her speed, at least she is middling so she doesn't get doubled. She doesn't she doesn't double herself, but she doesn't get doubled by anyone else either, which is really good. Um, let's see, so Boyd? I can have Boyd come up. Not in range, only the Blizzard user I'd be scared of. Um, ooh, you're gonna hit it, you're Boyd. You're freaking Boyd, you're not getting critted. You're Boyd the boy, go on, dude. That's right, smack that freaking cat in the face. Animal cruelty is acceptable if it's, um, freaking Lagoos, but only if they're being your enemies against you. You know what? I'm just going to take back and say that animal cruelty is never good because animals are animals. Okay. Um, I don't know where the heck I was going with that. Why the heck did I move all these people up? I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Um, I can't move racing up because Bo and he'd instantly die. I know that. I literally know that. Um, Mist I can bring up a little. Freaking blizzards what I'm scared of. Okay, um, anyone need healing? Mia kind of does. I'll put Mist right there. Physic up, Mia. I don't think I'll need to use Physic that many times, and plus this Physic is about to break anyway. And I think I have two in the convoy, and I don't know. I think that's gonna be enough for however long this game is gonna be, because I just don't know how many chapters we could have. We could have freaking, we could have like two more chapters or like 10 more, and I would never know. I would literally never know. Okay, so this nearly, that freaking pitfall was so dumb, dude. Why is it right there? That's such a weird spot that you would consider going. Okay, that did a decent amount of damage. Um, that did, that's so weird, dude. That is really weird. Soren? Okay, that's gonna do like how much? 16, that's pretty good against Soren. Um, but he should be okay. Here comes you guys. I'm gonna have Jill go back and deal with them. Oh, even more, okay. Uh, yeah, we're, it's a pincer attack now. Okay, so Ranulf, ugh, this is bad. Because if I go Ranoff, he's going to transform back into his human form. All right. No pitfall. No pitfall. No pitfall. Wait, 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 wait. Soren took 16, so he can live another one. I'm going to move Mia up. Or sorry, Mist and Physic up. I need a Physic. I need a Physic. I need a Physic up. I can't reach. Oh, can't. Okay. I need for this to happen. I do need for this to happen. Um, there's no way she's gonna take damage from the freaking blizzard, so I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried about the freaking arrow, which is also equally as annoying. But I don't think he has many usages left. I honestly, I think he's on his last one. No, he's not. Is he? He is. He is. He is. Okay, he is. So this is actually pretty cool. No pitfall. You're dead. Goodbye. Um, how many blizzard usages is that? Either two or one. It's not a lot. But it could come back to help us quite a bit. Blizzard counts as wind. It's weird because it's like ice, but there's no ice magic, so it's wind because it's like, whoa, you need wind. Wind is half the blizzard, half of it's snow, half of it is freaking wind. Yeah, two usages. So that could 
come in handy. And Blizzard, I'm pretty sure it's like, um, B magic. So Soren could use Blizzard. I haven't brought any of my super long, like, I could use freaking a lot of good weapons. Uh, anyway, let's see. So we got Silver Blade. Okay, these are all sword users, though. Lagoon Slayer. Didn't one have, like, a long sword? Yeah, you did. But, like, even then, you're not going to do that much damage to Oscar. So, Oscar, I'm going to have you come right here. Um, it's okay if you get hit. Then go for Iron Lance. Then Jill, same thing, Iron Lance. Racing. Racing can't go in the hole. Oh, no one can go in the hole after they've already been in. I didn't know that. Okay, that's interesting. Um, not even a flyer. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Keep out of way. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Wait. Wait. Boop. I gotta find a safe spot for racing. Don't let there be pitfalls. Don't let there be pitfalls. No pitfall. Okay, we're good. We're good. He's outside of range. Um, still got a few more turns of bird left, so there's nothing to worry about on that front. Ike, you can come up here. Um, Boyd. Uh, let's see. Sorn, I'm gonna advance actually, but while I do that, I'm gonna use a vulnerary. I'm actually, I've actually bought quite a few vulnerarys for the team in case I ran into situations like this because I was always like, hey, what if I ever need heals and I can't have my healer since I only have one good healer with Mist, and I can have Soren and Ilyana heal, but it's just the fact that like the amount of magic they use, like I could obviously just have one on um, Ilyana right now because she ran out, but like I like just having four spells. It's just so nice and getting rid of a, or having a healer because of that, it doesn't seem as good. So I'm going to move all my Lance users back here. I feel like there's going to be even more. Um, oh, snap. I could. Oh, I can't use it because it's out of uses. Dang it. Um, that's okay. I'll put Rolf. Oh, I, I can attack through these? I'll, I'll do this. I'll do this. Yeah, why not? I have freaking long. Oh, it's because it's not a wall. It's like a freaking thing. I see. Okay, so I can actually kill you thanks to um, Longbow. And now normally I was like, oh, I don't want to use Longbow that much. But now that I just got another one, I'm cool. I'm cool with I would cool with freaking taking it. Um, there, that killer bow guy is a little bit scary, but there is one more usage of the uh, of the ballista, so I'm not that worried. Um, all right, here comes you. You had tornado magic. You're gonna do 10 damage to Ranolf unless he dodges, because your hit rate was like 40 or something, right? So you might even just dodge. Okay, no, it is tornado magic. Tornado magic looks so freaking sick, dude. I love it. It looks a little too dusty, but then again, we are on an old bridge, so it makes sense that there's been dust everywhere. Okay. Um. All right, up against Thorn. That's okay. That's why I got the vulnerary. No killer. We're good. Um, let's see here. Oh, hello. Uh, okay. You guys from the back are coming in. Thank goodness you guys all have swords. So don't have to worry about um, actually dying. Dude. Swordmasters? I don't think I've seen a single enemy Swordmaster hit, like, ever. And it's a Swordmaster. It's like it's supposed to have such good hit rate in the game, and yet it can't do anything. It just sucks. Actually, now that that pitfall is over here, this actually makes a second wall. So, well, you can't stand it. Never mind. You just can't stand it. So, if I do Nephany right here, Iron Lance, then do Jill right here, Iron Lance, I have Oscar come to the back over here. There's no way anyone's going to be able to hit them. You're out of freaking stuff. I can have Ranolf. Oh, Ranolf. Okay. No pitfall. No pitfall. No pitfall. Nope. Okay. Uh. Wait. Longbow. Longbow. Okay. This probably won't work. But if it does, I'm a freaking genius. Come on. I'm not a genius. But whatever. Longbow crit. Longbow crit. Longbow crit. Longbow crit. Come on. I'm scared of killer bow, dude. It's a little scary. I don't like killer bow. It's all because of freaking pitfalls <laughs> and freaking ran off because he just ran out. Uh, okay, that's fine. Um, what can I do here? I can go for Mia because she can kill you. Maybe she can. Okay, go for it. Mia, you got this. Come on. Don't freaking die to tornado. Don't take the seven damage, even though it's a 45% hit rate, but it is a tornado. You can dodge. Jump in the air. Freaking jump in the air. Nah, it's okay. It's a tornado. How are you going to dodge that? It covers the whole battlefield. It's not even hitting the mage itself. Dude, the mage who's using tornado should literally take recoil damage because he's literally using tornado on himself. That's not true. Thank goodness. Well, maybe his rage is so high enough, but whatever. Um, okay, so there's another one gone. I could do boy. I can't even reach with boy, dude. Ah, that was my one and only chance. That's okay. Um, let's bring out the bulleting. 
Ah, that's annoying. So Killer Bow can reach three people. Ike won't die to it. Mia won't die to it because she's lucky. Maybe. Ranolf? Uh, eh, he'll be okay. Physic? Physic? I do have Physic. Um, what, what, hold on, what's Raisins? Uh, right there. Okay, I want to do right there so that I can do Oscar as well. So I'm actually going to Physic for... Oh, I can only have one person. So who needs it more? Who's less lucky? Uh, it's got to be based on luck, so I'm going to say Ranolf. I'm gonna say random. Um, well, then again, it's a killer bow. Snipers already have really high crit, so it shouldn't have mattered. And Randall had higher defense, so I don't know who it was better for. I don't know. It's hard to say. What's your range again? That's your range. I could just move Randolph out. Or I could just have Randolph come right here and block you so that you'd. Uh, I kinda want you to go for Ike, honestly. Because Ike could live a crit. I know he can. Alright. Um, let's not worry. I think it'll be okay. Something tells me, something tells me I'm not gonna get critted by this guy. Something tells me. All right, let me see. Okay, that's why, because he runs away. Oh, he's running away for a vulnerary. That's actually not a bad strat if I can't kill him, make him run away. Okay, that was the that was the longbow. He probably would have came and attacked me if I didn't use longbow with Rolf. That was actually good. Okay, Rolf, you didn't even need to kill him. You just need to make him, you just need to make him scared and run away. Which, I find that to be really interesting that enemies can run away in this game. I don't think they've done that in hardly any other games. At least, maybe in GBA games. Um, I think they did that in Sacred Stone sometimes, but I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just mis misremembering it because it's been so while since I've played the GBA games. Um, I've actually been playing Sacred Stones, like just in my free time a little bit. But um, that's because Sacred Stones is awesome. But, like, I haven't played Fire Emblem 7 and Fire Emblem 6 in like. Oh boy, like three years? <laughs> it's been a while. Actually, no, that's not true. I, I played Fire Emblem 7 um, a little bit, like a year ago, but it's been so... Okay, there's Har. Pincer attack? Pincer? Um, where are you going? What are you doing? Okay, you are pincering, but why are you all the way over there? What's the deal? Now then, let's see how things look. Um, I'm assuming you're going in for a pincer attack? Okay, you are. Okay, that's what it is. Cool. Um, Mia, come up here. You only be able to get attacked by Poliax, which is fine. Wait, Poliax? Is that the one that reverses, or is that... That's horseback. Okay, that's what I thought it was. I remember, like, two units had Poliax back in the past, and that was actually the chapter with the freaking Blanche Knight. I'm pretty sure. That chapter was tough, dude. That chapter was freaking tough. Oh, Iron Blade. Oops. Uh, I meant to use Iron Sword. Oh, well, it's Mia. She'll be fine. 32 HP? Yeah, she'll be fine. She's only up against a freaking Axe user. Um, there is one more. Killer Bow. Yeah, replace that. See the, uh, Killer Bow. Okay, there oh, there's three! There's freaking three! And they can all hit Mia? That's four damage? That's 16 damage just from these things! That's not good! That's not good at all! Alright, Ike. Ikey Poo. You're gonna get a freaking Ether. I know you are. Get Ether. Get freaking ether! Yep, I told you. He felt it that time. See, normally he doesn't like to listen to me. But sometimes he does. Dodge? Okay. Um, yeah, like once I just said. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Look at that! Ike is so freaking good now! He's so good! Ah, uh, you had to be carried by the freaking team, like, through half this game. Then the second you promoted it, you became god tier. Alright, Ilyana. Uh, yeah, Ilyana instead of Sorn, because Sorn's about to freaking die. <sighs> All right, that's it, it's becoming a little bit much, game. There's a little too many pitfalls for me. Um, ooh, actually, hold on, let me see something. I gotta zoom all the way out for a second. Move you back a little bit. Um, okay, you're fine. I can totally freely sing um, to you with Rayson and Commander Har is back here, so I just have to talk to Commander Har with Jill, which is okay. Which, he'll be up in that range of next turn, so that should be fine. Um, Nephi and Jill are holding off these guys. Yep, very well. Look at that, dude. Look at how! How do you just do that? How do you move? That's like a long jump, but your feet stay on the ground, so it's not a jump. It's just a long. I'm gonna call that the long. Then <laughs> right, don't call it the long. That just sounds stupid. All right, Jill. Uh, you can't really do much, but you know what? You're here, so you might as well make the best of it. Boom. You're taking chip damage, but you know what? You can take like 500 more of those. I am a bit worried about people with like stronger weapons, but I think we'll be okay. Yes, get strength. Could have got defense. That would have helped me out a little bit, but that's okay. Strength is always good. Um, not as much as freaking void, but that's okay. So now, I can hit in between the walls, correct? Like I should be able to. Now, maybe it's just arrows. 
Um, maybe mages can't hit through this wall? Because it's not really a wall. It just kind of looks like a wall. Um, what? Oh, oh, okay, it completely immobilized. Okay, never mind. I'm stupid. It completely immobilizes them. I see. Um, that's okay. Rolf's gonna get a freaking crit with his longbow. I don't know why I'm using so much of the longbow after I've been trying to preserve it so for so long. Oh, hello. Crit time. Oh, that doesn't kill. Ah, he'll run away. He'll run away. Maybe he'll run away. Hopefully he will, actually. Actually, I don't really want him to, but, eh, whatever. Um, let's see. And all I wish I bought the freaking Demi Band. It would have helped me out so much. Oh, I should just use freaking Oscar. Okay, you go right there, Ranolf. Um, actually, I could trap you in here with Ranolf. Ranolf's not gonna take that much. Yeah, I'm gonna trap you in there. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. I thought there was just one more. We're dumb. We're pretty dumb. Okay, Boyd, you stay. Actually, go one behind Oscar because he's got more defense. Sorn, you are healed. That's good. So you can stay like right there. Maybe bait out a couple of these arrows. Maybe stay like right there. Not as many. Okay, yeah, Ilyana. Looking fresh as ever um, with that cool new white cave. Yeah, you're running away getting that vulnerary. Now sip sip. There he goes. He's sipping. Ah, this is a little frustrating, but that's okay. All right, Ranolf, you're going to dodge, right? You are in your human form, but you're freaking dodging. Why? You're fast. You're freaking cat. That's okay. If Even if he gets attacked, he still gets like, what, two points to become a cat, which is good. Oh, hello, Paladin. Uh-oh, Javelin. Javelin, steel bow, okay. Mia, dodge? Nice, thank you. I'm actually really glad that you dodged that because you're in range of three freaking ballistas. So I don't want you taking 16 damage plus freaking steel bow. Oh boy, here we go again. You had an axe, so hand axe? Hand axe, okay. At least it's an axe, you're never getting hit by that, dude. Not in a million years. I still love the hand axe animation, dude. It's so sick. It literally just is fake, but I love how it looks. Okay, so this is actually getting a little bit dicey. Okay, here we go, here we go. How much damage? Never mind. <laughs> no damage, it's Mia. Um, here's the strategy, just use Mia. Just literally use Mia to tank everything. Ranolf, can you dodge anything? What's your freaking Avo? I thought it was good. You haven't dodged a single thing, dude. Maybe you shouldn't be on this team. No, I would never suggest. Sorry, Ranolf. There you go, never mind. He's doing the freaking Mordecai backflip, except now he doesn't just take the screen because he's not as large. All right, here we go, Mia. Wait, no killer axe? Holy yeah. Oh, that's right. We already saw that from the beginning. That's why we're here. All right, you're dead. Mia, crit. Crit, please. Crit, 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 crit. Thank you. Dude, Mia's so good. She always crits like one of the two hits, I swear. Unless she's up against a killer axe for some reason. <laughs> it's okay. If you want to balance it out, she can't crit the killer axe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Oh, I got it to work. Cool. Okay. Now I'm scared. I'm scared again. I'm scared. Dodge. Dodge, Mia. Yes. Yes. That's how things should be. Mia the master dodger. Okay. Whew. Disc is working. Mia's working. Everything's working. Har's coming in. Jill. How you doing? You're only take one damage in this? That's right. That's right. We already saw that. Longsword. I think you're actually dead. Yeah, you're dead from freaking Jill. See, that's how Wyvern Lords are supposed to work. They're supposed to be like kind of tank, or like pretty tanky. Not as tanky as like a general, but like really tanky. Not take hardly any damage, but they're freaking slow and have bad hit right now. That is a classic Wyvern Rider. And Jill, you are... Honestly, probably one of my favorite women riders. Yes, and she dodges too, which is weird. Women riders are also kind of fast enough. Not fast enough to, I mean, if you're looking at three houses, they're stupid fast, but like, they should not be that fast in freaking three houses. But, um, they're not that fast in this game either, but they're, you know, they're fast enough to, you know, get the job done. Kind of like Ilyana, they're, they're middling enough. And yet, for some reason, Jill just likes to dodge. Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't get it. Not, I, don't, I don't really understand that, but that's okay. Um, they're all just going in on Jill. Jeez, give her a break. Dude, this poor girl's been through so much. <laughs> give her a break. I mean, then again, you haven't been hitting her, so... Eh, seems like she's in pretty pretty good condition, so maybe never mind. Keep going after her, and she'll keep dodging. All right, there's Har and his forces. I wonder if if I recruit Har... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Who? Lucia? Is that the Crimean army? Uh, what ho? It is the army, uh, it's the army, come again. I see the Crimean flag in the rear, but lo, what do I, uh, who do I spy in the distance? Green hair, orange dress, and uh, eyes bewitching fair. Alencia comes, let us to her aid ride. Okay, the princess has returned. Count Bastion, return to the castle and inform uh, Jeffrey at once. I will move ahead and inform the princess that her retainers are uh, here to meet her. Lady Lucia, keep your wits about you. That we are all excited is fair to say. Oh my gosh, I've had to retry this guy's freaking. His ways talks, but show the enemy no weaknesses, lest he lest he does cut us down like autumn's wheat. Okay, go away, Shakespeare. 
Good advice. And you watch that you aren't waylaid on the ba on the way back to the castle. Even if Dane unleashes on myself the full fourth of their army's wrath, they are no match for a clever bastion. I'll meet you uh, at the castle gate anon. Right. Um, okay. What? So... They're just, oh, they're just over there. They're literally just over there. All right. So you guys are just over there? That's cool. Um, all right. So where was Har again? That's what I was more worried about. Where the heck is Har? He can't reach. Okay, one more turn without having to deal with Har. I can do Nef, Nefany, not Nefany. Jill, um, can you kill? Probably not. Steal? Yeah, you can't kill. But your Ava, that's why your Ava's so freaking high, dude. Okay, I can probably do, um, Iron Lance, hit you. Then run back, you probably won't get hit. That does 10 might though, that's a little scary. But we're okay. Um, doing Iron Lance, then dodging, then plus Nephany should take you out, I believe. Yes? Thank you for dodging. I did not want you to be at 13 HP for this next little fight. Um, cause I don't, I, we're gonna have to go up against those other Wyvern Riders. Um, and be careful of Har. So you are dead, thanks to Nephany. So get the heck out of here, dude. Your Silver Blade is not touching a single one of my units. Because Jill kept dodging, and I don't know why she wants to dodge so much, but you know what? I'm all for it. Maybe her biorhythm's high. I don't know what the heck it is. Um, I thought biorhythm only affected hit and crit, but I could be wrong about that. Maybe it affects Avo a little bit too. Um, okay, so this is when things are a little scary, because there's so many units over here, and I don't really know how to deal with them. Then again, we're also in a pretty good spot. Where all my units are kind of high up. You got hit by Venom. Oh, you dodged the Venonax. That's good. I'm glad. That way I don't have to deal with freaking stupid poison. All right, Silver Sword. That's perfect amount to kill. All right, Ike. You want to dodge this, uh, the Venonax too? I'd rather you knock out poison for this next portion. There we go. Thank you. Boom. Silver Sword. You know, I'm so glad that I have Silver Sword just because it also gives Ike more attack too. It, it helps him... Helps him with that low attack of his. So speaking of attack, Ike, what do you think? 17 is not even bad. That's literally not even bad. It's just the fact that it could be higher. It should be like 20 something, but it's at 18, which isn't even bad right now. Um, Oscar, my boy. Actually, how about how about we have Mia move like back here? That way, um, and I have like Oscar come like right here. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, boop 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 boop. I can have Mia. Are, sorry, I keep calling, I keep mixing up Mist and Mia, and I don't know why. They literally look nothing alike. It's just the fact they have similar names, and that's why. And they're not, they're not, like, one's on a horse and one's infantry, so I don't even know why I keep messing up. Maybe it's because Mist used to be always an infantry unit, and now she's on a horse, and I'm still just getting, trying to get used to that. But I think we're okay. Um, I don't want to move Soren and Pals up too much just yet because I'm a little bit spooked. Um, I think I'm just going to play it safe and wait out the um, archers, at least a little bit. That way, when I'm going in, they only have like two or one or two usages left. Cause going in too hard is gonna be a little bit scary. Plus, I want hard to get up here first too. Um, I could even send in like, actually no, I'll, I'll put Rolf like right here. Cause there are some wyverns over there, so they. I'll put Sworn back there too. It's not like he's gonna come up anytime soon. I'm just gonna need him just in case those wyverns are trouble for some reason. So enemy phase time. Here we go. You're running all the way back. That's cool. Petrine's gonna go friggin' throw her lance at you because you're a coward and running away. Alright, did you also have a Venon Axe or... Okay, Steel Axe, cool. I'm cool if you're getting hit by Steel Axe, Reynolds. I just don't want you to get freaking poison. Because I know with Lagoos, people have to be chipped away with you. Um, and also, you should be pretty close to, um... Freaking, uh... What is it? Not leveling up, but... Pretty close to you getting in your Lagoos form, which I should totally put the Demiband on you next time. I gotta remember, Demiband, Demiband, Demiband. I really need Demiband. All right, um, who are you? What, what weapon are you using? It's always such a, like a gamble of like what weapons the uh, freaking Cavaliers slash Paladins are using, which is so weird. I have to say that we're still running into like pre-promoted units. Like not every unit on the field is promoted. Like for the most part, like, it's like about 50-50. No, it's like 60-40 right now of pre-promotes versus promoted. So um, it's just weird. It, it makes me think there's gonna be a lot more. Okay, that was a little bit scary. I don't know, it just makes me think that there's going to be a lot more chapters in this game than I think they're going to be. Just because we're still, I don't know, on the brink in between the two. But the Paladins are also really scary, dude. More Steel Bow Paladins. I really don't like Paladins with bows, dude. Nice! Good one, Ike. Good, 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 good. I can actually... Wait. Ran off. Are you going to be a beast this turn? I think you are. I could actually... Um, oh, you definitely are. Now that you're getting shot at... Oh, three damage, though. That's okay. Um, 
Yes! Yes! That's what I'm looking for. Okay, I can have Ike kill that guy, and then have Randolph kill the Steel Bow user. Here's what I'm scared of, though. You. Feral one. Um... Okay, never mind. I had no reason to be scared. We still have Ilyana, too. So we still have Elfires. I don't even think I'll need Elfires. I'm doing good enough damage to you already. But I'll, I'll still probably use Ilyana. We'll have to see. Alright, there's Har. I gotta talk to freaking um, Jill with Har. He should be okay. Um, it'd be nice if his freaking guys would also run away, but we're probably gonna have to fight them. Which is funny. I always find it funny when you recruit a fire person who's like a commander, and then it's like, oh, yep, gotta turn on my guys, here we go. <laughs> Just funny. Um, and they always, they always like to be like Wyvern Lords too, or like Wyvern Riders. Oh, we're, it's always the Wyvern Riders who like to betray people, is that what it is? <laughs> Wyvern Rider betrayals? I don't know. Um, or I guess betrayal of the other people, but I guess Jill's also betraying, whatever. Okay, so, you're running away. Oh, you're just healing, that's cool. Um, you had light magic, right? I'm pretty sure you just had light, so there's nothing to worry about with you. Um, are you ready to fight? Are you ready to die? We must give our all to protect Princess Alencia. Wait, they're actually gonna go fight? My fellow Crimeans, now is the time we stand and fight for the life of our homeland. Uh, oh, <gasps> they're all just green boys. Wait, they're all gonna die to Patrine. They're literally all gonna die in to Patrine. Uh, hold on. Do I get stuff if they live? No, they wouldn't do that. They're all nameless units. They're all just dumb nameless units. Uh, they're pretty decent though. They're dodging. Okay. I mean, wow, look at this exhilarating green unit battle. Oh, they're taking out the snipers. Let's go. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay, there they go. There they go. All right, can you guys take out one? Don't go for Patrine. No. I don't care about the freaking default Wyvern Riders. Take out the sniper. The snipers, guys. The snipers. You freaking dumb green units who are actually pretty powerful. What the heck? What level are your freaking paladins? Okay. Um, if nothing else, I have to make sure that um, that I freaking... Uh, uh, what's it called? I gotta get Har before anything else. If those guys are like somehow strong enough to kill Patrine, I gotta get Har this turn. I gotta. All right, so Har, you're right there. Hey, dude. Let's talk. How you doing? It's been a while. Captain Har? Uh, greetings, Jill. So you're still alive, hey? Good to see. That's what I was gonna say to you. You survived. I'm very pleased. Uh, General Shiharan left me in charge, and I'm supposed to get the, our survivors and their families to, uh, to Ben Yan. I can't die until that's done. Oh, I see. But then, Captain, why are you still in Dane? I, believe it or not, I'm a, 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 vindictive, a vindictive man. Revenge for the General is something I couldn't let go. Oh, but that... Don't get the wrong idea. You're not the enemy I'm seeking. Huh? But... The ones responsible for General Shihiram's deaths are the Danes. I pretend to return to the fold so I could get close to General Patrine. I'm just waiting for my chance. But I think they may be onto me. My unit's a, uh, a bunch of tough guys who serve as Patrine's watchdogs. Plus, I've been ordered to charge the Crimeans head on. It's a Dane's, uh, it's Dane's way of killing two birds with one stone. Don't do it! Come fight by our sides! If you're looking to kill the Danes, then we share the same goal! Jill, I, um, I don't trust Crimea any more than I do Dane. I'm sick of, uh, I'm sick to death of serving countries. Captain. Still, I can't abandon the daughter of the man of who I owe so much. Guess I'm changing sides again. Really? Oh, thank you, Captain. No, you've got that backwards. Pardon? I'm a new recruit, so I'm under you. Thanks in advance, Captain. What? Don't be silly. Wait, uh, Captain. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Now you can wait right there. These guys, okay, these guys are not on our side. Okay, good to know. So now I can have Rolf be all like, ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha. Why don't you do enough damage? Um, Soren can't reach. Okay, this guy actually could kind of bad for us. Uh, mm, I, don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. Those ribbon riders are a little strong. A little bit strong. I could use Har though. He's got the brave axe. Actually, let's have Har hit the field. Take out one of his goons. Yeah. One of Patrine's freaking watchdogs? Why not? Okay, at least we got our new recruit. That's all. That's all fine and dandy. Um, I was, I'm surprised that Rolf couldn't do more damage, but then again, I guess it is Rolf. If he had a silver bow, maybe? Maybe he could have uh, taken somebody out? Maybe if he crits, he'll take somebody out. All right, Brave Axe. Ooh, times four. That's the first time I've seen times four on the field. You're dead, dude. See ya. Commander Har is here to stay. Look at his wyvern. It's freaking blue. That's cool. I like your wyvern. All right, here we go, Har. Boom. Boom! Javelin time, miss! Boom! Dude, Brave Axe is stupid. <laughs> Brave Axe is so dumb, dude. That was really cool. 90 XP. What level are you, Har? You're like level 10, right? Or something? 
Hold on, let me see. Let me see real quick. I'm gonna put you up there. Um, level 11, okay, that's right. Uh, let's see here. So, what was my strategy again? I already forgot. Um, it was to have Ike, I think, kill you. Then you're dead after that. He's never gonna hit you. Then I have Randolph kill the guy up ahead. Um, I think I'm just rushing. I'm rushing through this chapter now. Uh, it, it just seems like Ether. Give me that one HP back. That's right. Kind of unfortunate that I had to waste another strike. Actually, does it waste another strike if they're already dead? I feel like it does. I need to check kind of like the very specific, um, very specific workings of Ether. But now, can I please, please, I'm begging you, can I murder you? Oh, there's not even that many units up here anymore. Because, like, they got, they all ran away or something. Okay, Claw, go. You're dead. That's a perfect man to kill. Thank you, Ranolf, for existing in this world. You're dead, dude. Get out of here. Ranolf territory now. I don't know how many uses of his cat form that he has left, but it seems like he's got plenty, which is good. Man, I miss using Lagoos on the field. They're so strong. They're so good. They're broken. Like, if they hit, if they hit by fire magic, then dead. If they hit by anything else, they're dead. But, like... They're so good, dude. They're just so good. All right, Ilyana, I want you to L fire. That's just straight up death if I want to. Um, but I want to take out you and you if I can. So Mia, can I go for uh, Iron Blade? Maybe a crit? Maybe we'll get a little bit of a crit action? Maybe not, we'll have to see. Rayson still has his bird form, so um, we could have we could do something with that, potentially. No crits, um, but we do have bird form Rayson. We can do long range. I think we'll be okay. Um, wait, hold on, but... Mm, I don't know. That was a good level up, Mia. I, don't, I still don't know why you're getting magic. But, um... I'm scared of you. All the snipers are still alive. So, we can't be too reckless. As much as I want to be. And there's also you. So, I can't go too far. Um, plus, he's got a hand axe. He's not gonna hit anyone. He's fine. Um, what I want to take out is you. You're the threat. You are actually the threat. Steel? Go for steel. Oscar's not gonna die. You're the threat, though. I have to get rid of freaking you. Actually, I gotta check um, Patrine's skill. I haven't checked her skill. I should do that real fast. Um, just because I'm a little bit nervous of what what kind of skills you have. Okay, now you can use server lights. That's cool. What are your skills, Patrine? Daunt? Decreases hit and critical percentage of all enemies within three spaces. Okay. That's annoying because it decreases your hit and critical percentage. Critical's fine, but the hit is a bit of annoying. A uh, bit of an annoying one. So, um, you guys can reach, which is frustrating, but it's okay, because I'm not that worried, because you guys aren't that strong. What are you? Yeah, freaking 26, woo. Uh, yeah, Ileana will never die. Um, even if she, like, gets killed. Yeah, <laughs> people die when they are killed. Okay, actually, we got Boyd. Um, Iron Bow? Uh, Boyd's HP is a little low. Actually, wait, I, I can just heal him before he goes. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, mend. And then, me, uh, what's good about Mist, I, I'm doing the Mia Mist thing again. What's good about Mist right here is that um, she is guarded by this thing. So she can't even uh, get hit by someone behind. I mean, she can get hit by freaking you, which is... Oh, she can't even. Okay, that's cool. All right, so Boyd, fully healed Boyd. Um, I can do kill you, yes. Okay, Iron Bow. Man, okay, if I can, again, I got to remember that we have triangle attack. So I want to see if I can do that. Um, actually, I'm not in the position right now. That's unfortunate. Um, I know what the position is. I just have to get into it. And I really want to try it out one day, but I'm not in the position. I'm, like, almost in it, which is annoying, but I'm not in it. Because I have to be, like, super triangle around. Um, it actually has to look like a triangle, not just, like, kind of there. Okay, so Ilyana, that's death. Um, no vantage. She'll be fine. She can take some hits. She'll be okay. I'm only doing close range so I can avoid the wyverns. Um, because if I stand in the Wyvern area and getting hit by, um, the Ballistas at the same time, that's a bit too much. That's too strong. But if it's just one or the other, then it's okay. Um, so what was I looking out for now? Um, man, I still wish I had, had the chance to get that ring where I could, like, sing and then walk back. That'd be so broken, dude. Giving Kanto to people like that. Okay, it was you. you you're the one I have to get. You actually do have, I actually do have to kill you. So, that's gonna be done with Rolf. Um, hopefully. Steel Bow. Okay, that should be okay. That, this should do it. Come on, Rolf. Come on. This is what I need you for, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Rolf, dude. That's Rolf. That's not a triangle attack, but you know what? It's almost there. It's almost there. <laughs> well, it can't even be done because Oscar was attacking with a lance anyway. Um, so let's see. Uh, I could... No, I can't do that. I'm going to move right, erase him right there. His bird farm is, is pretty much done, Zofunzo. That's unfortunate. 
Um, Soren, you're at full health, so I'll put you right there. All right, that's the end of our turn. How are we doing? I don't think anyone's dead, but I think we're gonna take a bit, a bit of a chunk of HP here from some of our units. So hand axe might actually hit. Never mind, I forgot to hand axe. Literally so bad. Even when I had Boyd like use hand axe against freaking javelin users, it would still do like 60% hit rate at best, maybe 70. Um, nice dodge, Ike. Dude, I love the side steps whenever it's like long range things. That's so cool. All right, there we go against. Wait, what? Why are you hitting a space in front of him? What? That's a freaking boulder. Oh. What? I'm confused. What was that? Was it just long range? Oh, I think it's, I think it's, um, uh, what is it? Like a catapult that hits, like, multiple people. It'll, like, hit in the center spot, and then it will, like, <gasps> That was a crit? I forgot you could crit from ballistas. That was scary. Boyd! Thank goodness you can't get hit by anyone else, but jeez, that was scary. You startled me, man. No killer axe? Holy axe. Oh, trash. Goodbye. Dead. Nice dodge. Here you go. You're dead. You're freaking dead. Oh, yeah, that's the damage. That's the damage that freaking Randolph brings to the field. Cat powers, dude. He's a freaking cat. He got, I, I put a laser pointer down and put it on the enemy. He's dead. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's, is that mean? I think like that's kind of racist in game. Um, but he is a cat, so I don't know. Maybe he's got like the eyes. I don't know. But then again, uh, what was his name? Jan Janoff? He said like... His personal traits come from his him being a person, not as opposed to him being, or not, uh, not not him being a Laguz. It just comes from his natural ability, which is cool. I like that. I really like how it's like, oh, it's not always just because they're Laguz that they can see in the dark or whatever. Well, Laguz part, seeing in the dark, that's their, that's Laguz's ability. But like him seeing far and Uki hearing, that's their own abilities. That's just so cool. I really like that. It's not done with just Laguz. Because like it shows, it gives them more, of, of, I guess like a, they're just, they're no different from us qualities. They're not just like, oh, because they're Lagoos, they have superpowers. No, that's just their ability. It doesn't matter if they're Lagoos or not. It's cool. I like it. I like how that, like, specific line was in there. I don't know. Something about that line just stuck with me, and I really like that. Um, just cause It just goes to show more of, like, the they're no different than us sort of, uh, what is it? Sort of message that this game is sending, especially with Ike at the forefront. Just really cool. Pretty much we're ending racism. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's see. There should be one more. Oh, other... Wait, oh, that's Jill. I was like, that's Jill. <laughs> I was mistaken my own pal. Um, pal Jill for an enemy unit. So that's a little unfortunate. Hey, can that enemy stay right there? And I would actually like... Oh, they're not going for Patrine! Dude! Yes! Don't go for Patrine! They're smart... No way. Am I witnessing the first smart green unit? No way. That can't be real. No. Green units can't be smart. They're green units. They're not allowed to be smart. They're freaking green units. I, th yeah, okay, never mind. There we go. <laughs> now they're being stupid. Well, then again, that's also the nearest enemy, so. But it, it, they are green units, so they're not the bright. Oh, he's a genius. Okay, that guy's not a genius. He's dying to freaking Patrine. There's no way I can save him. Um, but <laughs> that that other guy with the canto. No, there are geniuses. No way. Genius green unit. Never thought I'd see the day, dude. Never thought I'd see the freaking day. Yeah, never thought I'd see the freaking day. All right, ran off, please. Not you two. Thank gosh. Thank goodness there was not two pitfalls. I would have screamed, dude. Uh, I've had about enough of these pitfalls, dude. I swear. I hope the final map doesn't have pitfalls, dude. Final maps are supposed to be epic, not like, oh no, I fell into a pitfall right before I hit the final boss. Now the final boss has seven range, so it can hit me from anywhere. Now I'm dead. Like, that'd be the stupidest strategy ever. They would never do that. Okay, I gotta kill you. You freaking crit me, dude. You crit me. I gotta send a oh, heavy spear? Oh, I can take that. Cool. Um, I can't kill you with Oscar. I don't think I can. Yeah. Let's just see how much damage I... It's a lot of pitfalls, man. It's a lot of pitfalls. Pitfall, 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 pitfall. Do you guys like pitfalls? I like pitfalls. They're really good. They're really fair and balanced. Um, cause it, yeah, the best part uh, of the pitfalls is I like where I know, where they, I like, I like that I don't know where they are. That's my favorite part about them. Um, yeah, that, that's, what, that's what makes them most fair is because you're supposed to just kind of blindly walk in and you're not supposed to know where you're going. Not, if you, see, the thing is, if you know where you're going, that's bad. If you know what you're doing in Fire Emblem, that's bad. No, I'm, I'm just joking. Pitfalls are actually really cool. I like them. May, I feel like other people, like, really hate them, but I think they're okay. I think they're actually, they spice up battles a little bit and, like, at least... So, like, sometimes they're really bad because sometimes they can just ruin your strategy. But so far, this map has been, like, easy enough to the point where 
I don't have to worry that much about it. Like, this this chapter's been, like, pretty decent. Um, has it been the hardest thing in the world? Especially since those reinforcements came and showed up. Hasn't been that hard. But, um, there's still things I need to watch out for, like critting, special type weapon people, um, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna void up a little bit. If he gets critted twice, he dies. He just straight up dies. Okay. This is a little much. I've fallen into, what, three? Or just two? Three! I've fallen into three freaking pitfalls in this one... <laughs> In this one turn, I have fallen into three pitfalls, dude. That's a bit much. Alright, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm okay with this. Grayson, look out, buddy. Let's move up in the world. Soren, you're at full health. You go right there. Now, please no one else get critted. We should be okay. Jill, Nephany, Har. Move Har on up there, too. Har's never gonna freaking die. Even if he gets... Uh, just in case. He's got freaking defense, though. He's freaking Har. Alright. Pitfall users get replenished. Okay, that should be the last of the pitfalls, like, I'm hoping. They only put pitfalls on the bridge, right? And we're nearing the end of the bridge. There should be no more pitfalls, I hope. Okay, green units. Okay, no, it's enemy phase, that's right. Boom. Dude, these green units are so freaking buff, and they're strong. The only reason they're good is because they're actually, um... How much damage? One. Oh my gosh. Why? These are the first ever good green units that I've ever seen in my entire life. It's so weird to see it. Don't crit. No crits. Ooh, that would have killed Soren if he critted. That would have killed Soren. 14 times 3, he wouldn't have survived. Okay, watch out. Oh, is he dead? Green unit? Green boy! Green boy lives. Dude, these green units are freaking geniuses. They're probably going to kill themselves next turn by dying. But I got to say, I'm pouring one out for these green units tonight, dude. I'm gonna pour out some of my freaking water because that's all I've been drinking lately because I haven't got- I don't have, I can't afford any other drinks. So I'm pouring out a water for you freaking green units. Actually, I'll take a chug for you right now, guys. Ugh, that was delicious. I love the taste of water, dude. I love the taste of tap water. All right, Nephany, go! Freaking- oh, that was actually pretty decent damage. Um, but you're not in Wrath Range, which is unfortunate. You're really close. But if you were in Wrath Range, you could have finished this off. All right, green boys! They are geniuses, they're not Dude. Why can't all good why can't all greenies be programmed like this? You're dead! You're dead! Oh, never mind. Okay. That's okay. It's alright, that, that's fine. That's what happens in fireman. Oh, he's not he's not gonna stay there though. Kanto! He's gonna move! He's gonna move! He's not staying as a patrine! He's not an idiot, right? Oh, he's an idiot. Never mind. Okay, the first stupid green unit, we found him. We found him, everybody. Patrine's gonna Patrine's gonna take him out. Uh, unless we can do something now, nah, he's dead. He's freaking dead. I was kind of hoping that maybe... Oh, okay. There, There's some more reinforcements to make things a little bit more interesting. Alright, Ranolf though. Ranolf. Um, I could rescue you. Oh, let's see, let's see. She will double you. You're dead. Um, I could just rescue you. Do I want to do that though? Oh, I can't rescue you. Even though I'm heavier? 36. Well, you are a freaking paladin. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. The only person who can rest a paladin is a Another paladin, maybe. Um, yeah, Ranoff, you're fine. This is the only person you're ever gonna take damage from besides freaking Patrine. Also, we're back in the forest. Look at that. We've crossed the bridge. Look at that. Big boy versus little boy. Who's gonna win? Little boy Ranoff! Boom! Actually, I just remembered. Ranoff actually, um, freaking went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Black Knight for a little bit. So, this Ranoff right here, before he levels up right now, those stats right there, he was taking on the Black Knight with those stats. Nice speed and defense. I like it. Uh, pretty defensive level, uh, defensive level right there, but still, he went up against the Blanche Knight of all people with those levels. Props, props to you, Ranoff. I like it. I really do like it. Um, Boyd, can you, uh, can you? You can't. But maybe with some help from your brother. You're joking. Two pitfalls next to each other. Come on. Even that's a little too much. Two pitfalls back to back. Right together? I was about to say, that's a pitfall right there. I was going to scream. I was going to scream. I don't care if I have to wake up the entire world. I was going to scream, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Why? <laughs> Who puts two pitfalls right next to each other? That's so dumb. I think if I restore and sing, then I could send Oscar up. Which, honestly, I might do. I have Rolf. Longbow. This is a joke. You are freaking joking! What is this chat? How did I not hit these earlier? Oh, it's because I've been going around. 
I've been going around and just getting through them by luck. This is so dumb. Can I actually restore? I can, okay. This? <laughs> Why? That's so dumb. Who puts freaking... <sighs> It's actually kind of funny. It's actually, it, it, the thing is, like, it doesn't ruin my strategy so I can laugh at it, and that's okay. If it actually was, like, doing really bad things for me, I would be really upset. But I think it's really funny, actually. Okay, chant. There we go. Here we go. Now it's now it's happening. Now it's happening. Rolf, get out of that freaking pit. Get out of that stupid pit. So you can't restore a person in a pitfall. That's right. I don't know why. I thought you couldn't. Not sure. Um, all right, here we go. Can you kill? Yes. He's freaking Rolf. You want to crit? Rub him in his, rub it in his face. You literally were in a pitfall. That's right. He's like, get me out of this pitfall. I'm critting. I'm Rolf. I murder. I murder people out of my, out of, out, once I get out of the freaking pitfall, I've charged up. He was charging. That's what he was doing. He's charging his freaking hand, ready to shoot a crit. Nice speed, girl. They like it. You've been getting luck recently, which is good. I honestly like that, because you need more luck. All right, Mia, you're at full health. Go the heckles on up into the pitfall. Um, there's a lot right at the end, jeez. My goodness. Okay, fine. there's one more person I have to be scared of, and that's you. I'm not that worried, though. There's no way you're gonna one-shot, right? Race, you know, racing's in range. He'll be okay. 27, there's no way this guy, who's shooting pedestal stones, he's shooting freaking stones. Uh, just in case, though, just in case. I'm a little too scared, dude. Um, can I do, we can put Jill who is right there. I can, um, oh, here we go, watch this, watch this, dude, watch this. Okay, watch this. Take, drop, then I, uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I, I wait, then Soren, trade the men staff for the L, oh, I can't use it, Never mind. Okay, I thought it was a genius for a second. I thought I could trade and then heal with Soren. That's okay. Um, nope, can't do that. Joe won't die, she's got freaking defense. Okay, Nephany. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, we're good, Nephany. Uh, no, there's no way they can even hit. Okay. Block. Boom. There we go. Go Steel Lance. Actually, you know what? Go Silver Lance. Let's go. Let's go Silver Lance. Ilyana, get back there. Don't die. All right. Here we go. Oscar's getting out of the pits. Um, Mia's getting out of the pit too. Okay. Now, enemy phase. This is what I'm scared of. Elixir. You stole Patrine's Elixir. She's going to kill you, dude. She's literally going to kill you. Also, he didn't even... He ran away so that... Okay, that's cool. Um, wait, no. No! Now he's guaranteed gonna die to Patrine. All right, here we go, Patrine. Uh, haha, <laughs> do you like your meat rare or do you like it charbroiled? Let, uh, let me know and I'll cook you up just as ordered. <laughs> All right, death. That's death, that's freaking death. Boom, look at that damage on the Patrine, let's go! Goodbye, green unit. Oh, I'll pour one out for you, dude. You fought hard, green unit. I respect you, okay. Green units, okay, I guess the green units don't have to survive, that's good. I'm kind of glad, because if I had to keep them all alive, then that would be really bad. Um, I don't think there was a way for me to do that, though. I think it's okay. I think we're okay, because like, even if so, they were just going to attack Patrine anyway, and mess up my plans, so I'd have to like fight close range, so I don't know. Maybe I, I could have got here a little faster. No, I couldn't, because the freaking pitfalls. The pitfalls kept stopping me. Oh, Nephany, I didn't realize you were so low on HP. Uh, that kind of scares me. I mean, you're dodging, so why do I care? Yo, the Silverlands look so cool! Nephany! You look so awesome with the Silverlands! Nephany! Silverlands! That actually is, like, really good combo. The Silverlands looks like real, like, 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 like her weapon, dude. That's, like, her weapon. Ooh. Oh! Ah, uh, I thought it was, like, I was, like, ready for it. I was ready for the rap. Didn't happen. That's okay. Um, other phase. All right, green boys. All right, they're running back and healing. That's okay. That's okay. It looks like they're retreating. I'm okay with that. There's how many? We still got four green boys though. That's a lot of green boys. That's a lot of green boys. Even you see, look at even some are still fighting on strong. Boom! A oh, 15. You're dead. That's a Wyvern Lord too. You just murdered a Wyvern Lord. That's not a friggin' Wyvern Rider. That's a Wyvern Lord. Why are you attacking? Oh, okay, it's a sniper. I was like, why are you attacking Patrine? Okay. Oh, double. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's see. Now, what do I want to do here? Uh, racing. Oh, you're healing, Jill. That's cool. Um, I thought it was like your bird form already. No way, dude. Um, all right, let's see here. What do we want to do? Uh, I do want to kill the sniper, but I only have two. Re Wait, hold on. I can't reach. Uh, the sniper, sniper's gonna have to live another turn because I step in range of between. It's over. It's freaking over. Unfortunate, but true. All right. Oh, Randolph, you can't even kill. 
Ranolf? What are you doing? If you got strength that last level up, you could be able to kill. We're gonna have to get Boyd in here, dude. Boyd! Hit the field once again, dude. Oh, boy, you take a little bit of damage. Okay, how about Oscar? That's not Oscar. Where's Oscar? He's in the pits. That's right. It's <laughs> like, where is he? I know where you are, dude. Okay, how about you? Uh, all right, right there. Yo, wait. Can I triangle attack? No way. There's no way. I could actually maybe potentially set up for a triangle attack. I don't think I have enough range, though. I could totally do it, though. I want to. I want a triangle attack one person in this freaking game. All right, let's see. Nope, can't reach. Come on. So freaking close to being a freaking... Ah, I want to triangle attack, dude. I really do. I really want to triangle attack. Okay, Ike, can you do something about these guys? Sort... They both have javelins. That's why we're not doing enough damage. Um, can you, like... Can you, like, freaking, uh, ether, please? That could save us a lot of trouble. Please, ether. Come on. Ether. Ether. What are you doing? It's like a 22% chance. Why aren't you getting it? It's like a really, really high percent chance. Why? Why would you forsake me like this, Ike? All right. Boyd can at least get the kill. Then maybe Randolph will get, like, a 3% crit or something. That'd be kind of cool. Boyd? There we go. You're dead. Um, I wish Boyd had a little bit more speed, honestly. Warriors usually tend to have, like, a decent amount of speed, but I feel like Boyd needs a little bit more. Like, he's, like, a 12, right? He's at 13. He could use, like, he should be at, like, 15. He should literally be at, like, 15, probably, like, 15 or something. All right, Randolph, 5% crit, dude. I'll give you a carrot. That sounds really good, right? You want a carrot? Do you want a pickle? I have, actually, a lot of pickles in my house right now, so, you want a pickle? All right, maybe not the best hand of pickles. Whenever he goes to freaking restaurants with pickles, he's like, no pickles, please. I don't want the pickle. Soup and a sandwich. You want a pickle on the side? No, thank you. I'm Ranolf. Um, he doesn't like pickles. That's my headcanon. Ranolf hates pickles. Watch there be a conversation where he's like, I love pickles. Oh, oh, come on. I get it. I get it now. I freaking get it. I I know you like, I like the whole chapter like pitfalls. But come on, dude. I want to freaking, you know, play the chap. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sniper. Sniper. Oh, we can still... Wait. 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 <laughs> oh, that was close. That was close. Oh, he's probably just gonna freaking hit a green boy. But that was so scared. I was so scared, dude. I won't lie. I was terrified. When I saw racing was in range, I was like, the world has come to an end. Ilyana is now a freaking fortress knight. The world has come to an end. Soren is gonna become a freaking, uh, I don't know. He's gonna become a master ninja from Fates. So that's what he's gonna do. Everything's, everything as you know it is going to change. So speaking of change, can I please? Did the music just like jump? Was that just me? I feel my game glitched again. Um, all right, you're dead. Nephany, you're at low HP, but that's okay. Get Wrath, crit, crit, yes. Boom, show off. That's right, there's the long. Still don't know why I'm calling it that, but probably shouldn't call it that. <laughs> it just sounds stupid. The long? Like, it doesn't mean anything. It's just the long. The long what? The long. The long. You know. If you know, you know. Do you know Nephany? 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 Her name? I forget her name. I don't think she has a last name. In fact, I don't think many characters have last names in Fire Emblem. And Ike Grail Mercenaries. That's his last name. His, little, his last name is Lily Grail Mercenaries. Okay. Any phase time. All right. Sniper. Against... Oh, he can hit race and... Oops, racing don't die. <laughs> what was I scared for? There's nothing. Okay, so that is a wide range attack. That's cool. Um, you are going for Ike. Ike's freaking Ike, though. Watch. He's gonna be all like, sidestep, I'm Ike. Yep. He's Ike, dude. You even try to hit him? Have you seen his blue cape, dude? You can't. You can't hit the ocean, because it's, it's, entire, its entirety is just the... You stole the freaking elixir? That that guy stole from Patrine. I find it so funny that like little freaking default enemies can steal elixirs from the boss. That's so funny to me, dude. That like the I, I just feel like the boss would be all like, "Hey, that's freaking mine. Don't take that." <laughs> it's like something. Like imagine, like if you saw Patrine with the way she treats her sol her soldiers. If they took an elixir from her that she needed to survive, she would freaking kill them. There's no way they'd survive. That's so funny, dude. That's so funny. Okay, thank you, Green Boys. All right, Randolph, that's not a good time. Um, but thank you, Green Boys, for actually weakening up these guys. I appreciate it. Void? That's a kill. Wait, can I... Uh, no, Ralph's not close enough. Well, maybe. No, wait, hold on. No. No, he can't reach. Because of freaking Pitfall! 
This freaking stupid pitfall. So dumb. Pitfall is so stupid. All right, Oscar. Um, can you murder? No, don't murder him. What? Like, who needs EXP? Ike does not. So he's kind of like the last person I want to attack with. Mia, you can come up here and attack this guy. Um, that's death with iron. Then you're not going to die because you're Mia. You might dodge because you're Mia. You crit because you're Mia. You're Mia because you're Mia. And that's why we love you. <laughs> so there's only a couple more units left on the field. I feel like all the green boys are going to go probably suicide into Patrine's Fire Lance. But you know what? Go ahead. Wait, I, I get that Flame Lance though. Don't do it. You're going to waste the usages of it, you freaking green boys. Actually, Ike? Ike though. Ooh. Uh, she only has Daunt. She can't crit. She has no other weapons. Um, and I can ether at any time that he wants. Okay, we're good. We're good. There's no way he can't, she can't double it. Let's check. Okay. 24 speed, 23. Okay, he'll never double, or she'll never double. We're okay. I don't know what the heck I'm so scared for. It's because it's the boss. I'm always terrified of bosses. I'm not going to attack though. You're just going to wait. Because I don't want these guys to like physically go up there and attack. Um, you're at one HP, so you actually need, you do need to die. Um, didn't someone take elixir? Oh, it's because they're freaking green boys. That's what it was. The green boys weaken them up. Okay, Oscar, kill this guy. Then Boyd takes care of the other one. And then I think we're good to go because then only Patrine is the final enemy. Right? Is she the only enemy left, actually, besides these two guys? Um, I'll, I can check on the freaking uh, conditions map because it always shows up what uh, how many enemies are left. So let's see. Um, no, no, no. I want conditions. How do I do conditions again? I already forgot. Uh... I forgot! How do I do conditions? Oh, it's the friggin' menu button. Okay, enemy two. Literally only enemy two? Okay, so that's it. That's it. It's just you. Perish. You're dead. You're gone. Alright, the chapter should be wrapped up. Ike's gonna take care of friggin' Patrine, which is funny because um, friggin' Grail and Patrine were fighting, so now it's like the father, or the, the inheritor of the father is now fighting Patrine once again. That's cool. I like that. That is really cool. This is actually a really good time to have Patrine as a boss, because she's been, like, you know, one of the main enemies throughout the entire thing. Like, she hasn't been, like, antagonizing, but she's always been, like, one of the main enemies that we've seen, and now we're finally getting to fight her. I kind of like it. I really do kind of like it. Um, just because, like, the way it's, like, you're finally getting back into Crimea, and how do you do it? You, back get, you get back into Crimea by defeating Patrine. That's really cool. Dude, this game is so good, dude. This game is so freaking good. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I, I can go down under, under through here. Um, actually, do flyer, flyers don't get caught in pitfalls? I don't think they do. Maybe that's why I was able to sneak by some of them earlier. Um, I don't think I'll even need to worry about Patrine, because even if, like, Ike can't do anything, like, he can't ether for some reason, um, we got Soren and other units, so we're fine. There's no, there's nothing to fear. But anyway, here we go. Now, it's Ike time. Enemy phase, here we go. All right. Ike versus Patrine. You love to see it. Silver Sword, too. You. You're the knight that my father battled. You. If I'd known you were going to grow to be such a thorn in our side, I would have reduced you to ashes when I had the chance. Guess it's not too late, though. Die! Alright, here we go. Ooh, that looks so cool! Like, the actual animation of that. That looks sick! Okay, I think I'm just gonna have Ike and just go ham on Patrine. She, doesn't, she has no elixir. Wait, no. The green boys, though. Are the green boys actually gonna attack her? Can you guys, like, just stay back? Please. Oh, they're listening. Green boys. Green boys. Oh, I love green units. That's that's. This is the only time you'll ever hear me ever, ever say that I like these green units. This is the first time I've ever experienced a good green unit. Hey, Rolf. <laughs> hey, Rolf. Hey, Rolf. <laughs> Longbow. Longbow be like. Oh. oh, okay. Well, we tried. We got one free XP for that. You know, I didn't do that. If I didn't go for the memes, we wouldn't got that one EXP. Alright, um, let's see here. That sucks. Um, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I can cancel away. Come on, Oscar, go! Steel Bow versus Flame Lance! Wait, wait she can actually. Yeah, she can counterattack, but she can't kill. Flame Lance! Phew! Um, do I want to keep attacking you like that? Nice level up from Oscar. Uh, I can heal with Mist. I already healed with Mist, never mind. Um, yes, get strength. Oh my gosh, that was such a good level! That was actually such a good level. You covered your strong points, and you got points where you were lacking. That was such a good level. Um, let's see. I can't... Okay, now that uh, freaking Rayson's up here, we can actually do stuff. Let me move Soren up here just a little bit more so I can give Ike some bonuses. Um, Ileana and Nephany, I don't think they really need to be here anymore. They've done their job. Um, 
But I think it's all up to Ike now. Let's just keep going, Ike. Come on, Ike. You got this. This is your freaking map. Just get an Aether on Patrine and finish her off. Come on, you can't double her. That's okay. Just freaking Aether. 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 All right. I like how half the time is just me screaming Aether at Ike. <laughs> That's literally what I've been doing this like, entire time. Just screaming Aether, Ike. Aether. Come on. Get up B again. Do it. Okay, could I... I could try and, um... I could sing to Ike and then rescue race and then then gra re grab him then make him not oh that's actually kind of a good strategy um is he in range okay here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put soren right here um i'm gonna move rolf i'm gonna have ike attack go for silver sword actually do i do can i double i didn't think so okay just wanted to try it silver sword why not we've already used up plenty of it. i can always buy another one all right come on ike ether ether I want it, dude. You know I want it so bad. Thank you for missing, by the way, Patrine. I love that you're missing. That way I can get more uses of that Flame Lance. That's so good. Oh, snap. I can chant to both. Actually, I can just finish it off right now if I wanted to. I'm gonna have Sor- I could have Sorn attack Patrine. Um, and then take, like, no damage from the Flame Lance. And then, I think I might just live after that. There's the level up. Race in. Get strength. <laughs> Again, he did the thing. He did the thing where I asked him to get strength and he gets everything else. 31 res, dude! 31 res! Fair and balanced! Okay. Uh, 9? That's- that would kill. But that's also my strongest. Uh, I don't want to kill with Sorin. If he gets adept, he kills. But he could miss. Yeah, he could miss. Um... Uh, yeah, go for- go for it. You know, actually, it's fine. We found out a little bit about Sorin in today's episode, so if he wants to kill, he can take it. He wants to protect Ike anyway. You! That- oh! A special cover- I'm so glad I did this! that mark on your brow. That's not a charm of the uh, dead, is it? You're no spirit charmer. <laughs> you may be able to fool the others with that, but not me. It's because we're the same, see? Oh! The same? Don't be ridiculous. I'm nothing like you. You kill for sport and hide your fear behind a wall of bravado. Now let me show you true fear! Yo, I'm so glad I did this, actually! That's so cool! Patrines also have lagoons? That's weird! I didn't know that! She doesn't have the ears. Well, then Soren didn't either. That's so cool. I'm so glad I did that, dude. You don't know how... I was just doing it because I wanted to. Because Soren. I'm so glad I did that. And it's so fitting because I just found out. I literally just found out what that means. Dude, there's no better timing than that. And no better timing than Ike to finish it off. Come on, Ike. Ether, Ether. <laughs> he just doesn't want to. Your majesty. Please. Uh, forgive me, please. Ugh. I don't want to die. So scared. Okay, Patrine, wow. Guess everyone's scared of dying. I see. All right, but we triumphed. Ike, taking yet another level with another life. Or I guess another life with another level. No, nah, it's, it's the other way around. Nice. Don't get strength. That's cool. Actually, luck and res are kind of low points for you, so I'm kind of glad you got that. Flame Lance, how many uses left? Okay, okay, 20 uses. That's cool. Um, This is C's not arrived, so we have to use Ike. Um, so here we go. Heal up Soren back to full. Nobody else left. Do I want to get a couple more heals with Mist in this turn? Anyone else need healing? Yeah, I'll, I'll do a couple more heals with Mist, then I think we're good to go. All right, I think that's good enough. Let's go. Seize. Clear map. Yes? I want to do one last check. I'm always scared, dude. I'm always so scared to do one last check. No one died. We got Har. No treasure maps. Green units are still here. Only one greenie died. Maybe two, actually. All right. All right. Here we go. Our Seize. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, Princess Alencia, welcome home. It's so good to see you safe. Lucia? Lucia, is it really you? I am no spirit, see? Flesh and bone, through and through. Ah, uh, Lucia, you have no idea how I long to see you. And I you, Princess Alencia. When my brother Geoffrey told me you had been lost, my world went dark. When I learned you were still alive, I was so... Then Geoffrey is safe as well? Happy day! <laughs> Are there others? How many Crimean retainers have survived? Well, there's Count Bastion, that silver-tongued rascal is loqu loquacious as ever. Also, General Tagio, Marcus Catol's orphan, Seelock, and Marcus Mit Mitlala are all with us. Thanks for all these name drops, appreciate it. The soldiers have contacted so far, or so far, do not even number to 100. But if they, uh, if they know you return, retainers hiding throughout the land will surely come pouring in. Yet, my existence, it is not known to the general populace. There's no need to worry about that. The tales of your exploits in Dane have reached every corner of Crimea. In every village, in every town, the people are talking. 
Our fair king had a hidden child, they say. The secret princess of Crimea is fighting to save us all. In addition, Dane soldiers have been uh, frantically searching for a mysterious elus and elusive princess Crimea. And they all succeeded in, and all they succeeded in doing is convincing the people that you truly are their princess. Ooh, all of Crimea has been anxiously awaiting your return. Oh, Lucia, do you speak truly? They have acknowledged my existence? I never expected this day. Aww. Alincia must be pretty uh, happy with that. News of reactions in Dane reached the ears of King Gallia through Nasir. Wait, through Nasir? So Nasir was a sp Okay. I then told Lucia, who passed it to the citizenry. You know, uh, the thought that Nasir is a traitor just doesn't feel right to me. I can't believe it. Yeah, I, again, that's what I was saying too. I don't think Nasir is bad. I think he was doing it to protect Ina and nothing more. I don't think he wanted to. He even said, forgive me. He said, I'm sorry. Um, he, I don't think he, he, like he said, forgive me one time. And then he said, I'm sorry before he hit Ike or something like, it was something like that. He said, I'm sorry and forgive me at two different points. So he doesn't want to hurt Ike and pals. I think he actually enjoyed being with them and helping them. It's just the fact that he wanted to protect Ina, which I'm imagining is like his sister or something. Cause they're both Lagoos and I'm imagining Nasir is a dragon. That's what I'm imagining, right? I think he's a dragon because he's got, he said he was a Lagoos and, um, it didn't look like what kind of, I don't know what kind of Lagoos he was, but if he's, if he's so attached to Ina, that's obviously, it's like, he, like he's family, friend, somebody, someone important. So I think he's also a dragon Lagoos. And that's why that was the betraying is because of Ina. Now, Ina, I don't know what the heck is up with her. She loves Ashnar. That's freaking weird, but whatever. Um, you think I don't see that? Look at what we know about the medallion. We discovered it thanks to his hints. He's helped us throughout our entire journey. And that, at least, he was not false. Yet, if he will not speak, there's nothing I can do to save him. Let's go see him. One way or another, I will loosen his tongue. This way. Okay, so we still have him, like, in chains or something? Or is he just back here? He's been kept in this supply tent. He, uh, we wanted to keep him away from the other soldiers. Huh? Is he gone? What is it? He's... He's gone! I brought him breakfast this morning. He was here. He escaped? How did he escape? He turned into a dragon. He turned into a dragon, didn't he? That's how he escaped. I bet you $5 he turned into a dragon and escaped. Because he get big and then gets out of the ropes or whatever. He was even in ropes. I don't know. All right, Crimea. How you doing, Crimea? It's been a while. Nice to see you again. Kind of still like the Winter Dane, but that's okay. All right. The Crimean army defeats General Patrine, one of Ashnard's feared four riders, and finally arrives home. The princess's return is met with the jubilation and tears of the retainers who have managed to survive. As long as we have Princess Alincia, Crimea will be liberated. These are the words that gave the people hope as they endured the harsh rule of a conquering country. The silent masses who long for the restoration of their homeland slowly begin to voice their uh, get, slowly begin to voice or give voice to their dream. Surely they think this chance to see Crimea free will not be wasted. All right, let's hope not. I can freaking the Grail Mercs have a pretty good momentum going on right now. Hopefully nothing stops that. Battle reunion? Reunion? With who? With people of Crimea, perhaps? I'm assuming that's what it is. Uh, no, I don't know this place. Okay, I was like, say, do I know this place? Oh, is that... Is that C Castle Crimea? Or is it like a fort? It doesn't... It kind of, yeah, I was going to say, it's not a freaking... It looks a little too dinky to be like a main castle. Oh, Jeffrey, okay. Can it be? There is no mistake in my words. The princess has returned to Crimea. The Lady Lucia Lu uh, serves as her guide. They should be on their way here as we speak. How long has it been since we've, uh, since we've seen the princess? We've been, living, uh, the, uh, we've been living for the day where we steal the eyes from the Dane army and bring her home. And now it has come. Indeed, for his majesty, for the queen, and for Crown Prince Renning as well. We must act as one and support our beloved Princess Alincia. Yes, if all goes well, our dearest wish will soon come to fulfillment. There's no uh, time to wait. If we wish to properly greet the princess and her uh, retinue, there is much to be done. Right, let's look. For, uh, let's let everyone know. We must divide the tasks and begin preparations for a feast at once. A feast? Okay, that's going to be nice. And flowers must be prepared for the princess's chamber. Oh, we mustn't forget music and entertainment either. I suppose I shall have to polish the silver table where I was hiding too. You? You possess such refined things? I figured a rustic boar, uh, boar like you would have sold them for a lamp, sh a lamp shank? Okay, a lamp shake. I received the silver from his majesty when I when was awarded my knighthood. I have been saving it for such an occasion. Well done. Get ready. We are going to be very, very busy. Ha <laughs> ha. What a fantastic day this will be. I don't think it will because this literally looks like a battlefield right outside. And I see freaking ballistas, so I'm scared. Okay. Back in a very royal-like tent. 
Uh, the Crimean retainers are waiting for us at this castle, Delbray? Yes, in your absence, princess, we used the cellars beneath the castle as a secret meeting place. It is from there that we contacted other retainers who were hiding throughout the land. And no one was discovered? We disguised ourselves as merchants or peasants, and Dane looked right past us. Their arrogance is without equal. I mean, they're not actually trying to liberate Crimea. They're just, or not liberate Crimea. They're actually not trying to conquer Crimea. They're just trying to conquer everything. So I guess they don't really have time to care. At least Ashnard doesn't. Uh, however, now that we've heard of your return, we are bringing out our hidden Crimean armor and polishing away. Oh, that's nice. Merchants? <laughs> Jeffrey is one thing, but I cannot imagine Bastion as a shopkeeper. No one could. That's why he dressed as a street performer. <laughs> now that I can see. I'm sure it suited him perfectly. Did he juggle and uh, gamble about? <laughs> and Jeffrey, never have, uh, never have you seen such a merchant, uh, merchant with a perfect posture. <laughs> that sounds just like him. Okay, Alencia's having a good time. Princess Alencia seems to be having a wonderful time. She's been smiling and laughing for hours. Uh, it seems she and Lucia grew up together. She feels completely at ease around her. The princess seemed to be of uh, good cheer when she uh, was with us as well, but I suppose she was putting on a brave face. Uh, when I see her in this light, I'm reminded that she's, all, she's still only a young woman. What we see now is the princess as she was before Dane's attack. That is the true Princess Alencia. It's good to be home, isn't it? We still have many ba battles ahead, but for tonight, we should relax and let ourselves forget our cares. No one uh, can continue under this much stress forever, right? Well, I can. Uh, I suppose you're right. I mean, he's been doing a pretty good job so far. All right, Soren time. Ike, I'd like to report the results of our last battle. Uh-huh. All right, MVP Ranulf, new ally Ranulf. Ranulf, MVP? Mm, okay, bonus EXP. We got more bonus EXP, dude. That's too much. What am I supposed to do with it all? Seriously. <laughs> and, and hard, too, of course. There are no deaths and no injuries beyond our capabilities to heal. Everyone performed exceedingly well. Uh, that is all. By your leave, I look to use myself. Bye, Soren. Nice talking to you, dude. And there we go, that is all. A friend, oh, I get to talk to a friend in the next episode. Oh, thank goodness I need more of those, dude. All right, so there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode, everybody. That was fun. That was a good chapter. I like that one. The pitfalls were, uh, you know, they're pitfalls. You, you gotta deal with them as they come. Luckily, I'm glad the pitfalls were only like an obstacle. They weren't really like detrimental, like I'm sure. In other games that I, in other fine games like I played, like pitfalls would ruin everything for me. But in this game, they were just more of like a minor annoyance. I was just like, ah, I can't kill this guy this turn, so I have to do a different strategy, which is okay because like sometimes not all your strategies are gonna work, so you have to, you know, have backup strategies, which is what pitfalls do. It's like an unknown occurrence that interrupts you, which is obviously kind of annoying sometimes, but I like it sometimes as well. So I guess that'll be it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will see you all in the next episode. I'm getting pretty excited. I wonder how many more chapters we have to go. I'm, like, really excited to get more of these done. Anyway, I'll see you all then, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.